If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Once when Goku got there and he saw that Krillin was dead, it triggered Goku really hard and from there Goku started to cry and scream out of pain and anger. Goku screamed so loud as he started to power up and he kinda lost control and therefore we saw that Goku was going to a transformation. Goku has now finally transformed into a Super Saiyan. Sensing his power level, Master Roshi and Z-Force got very scared and was wondering just what is his amazing power level they never sensed their entire life. Goku then called towards Nimbus and he flied right towards where Tambourine was. Once when Goku got there, Tambourine saw a bright yellow light coming right towards him as Goku went and decked him so hard and Tambourine fell right to the ground. Goku then confronted him and said, You killed my best friend, Krillin. Tambourine then recalls it, Oh, you mean that Baldi? Yes, I did. He was very fun to kill as I broke his neck. Hearing that got Goku even more angry as Goku went and powered up and delivered one blow to his stomach, killing Tambourine. Tambourine fell to the ground and making sure that he's dead, Goku threw a Kamehameha wave at him to finish him off once and for all. Goku has now avenged Krillin but doesn't want to end right there. He wants to go and resurrect Krillin by gathering the Dragon Ball. Goku then went back to his normal state and he flew right back to where everyone was. Roshi then told Goku who Tambourine is and he is from the diva called King Piccolo and that Piccolo has returned. Goku then wanted to resurrect Krillin and he asked Boma to give him the Dragon Balls as he vows to do so and bring back Krillin at any cost. Everyone knew about Goku's massive power up but they never seen a Super Saiyan transformation up close. Goku then took the radar and went out to find the remaining Dragon Balls while Piccolo was collecting the Dragon Balls for himself too. Goku saw that Piccolo had all 6 Dragon Balls in his possession. He then went and did some training with Korin, trying to utilize his new transformation power and find out more about it. But he didn't know much about Goku's new power so Goku finished up his training quick with Korin and then he said he's going off to fight Piccolo and to get the remaining Dragon Balls. Once when Goku got there, Goku went and decked Piccolo's men so hard he fell to the ground and Piccolo saw that. He got up to see what happened and he saw a kid standing right in front of his spaceship. Piccolo then got out of the spaceship and saw that Goku was there as he was very angry looking at Piccolo and then Piccolo got angry looking at Goku and said, What the hell are you doing here brat? Did you just hurt one of my men? Goku without any response powered up and started to attack Piccolo. None of Goku's attack really faced Piccolo much as Piccolo was really superior over Goku at his normal base, Goku then let out a scream and he transformed into a Super Saiyan. Goku as a Super Saiyan went and decked Piccolo so hard and non-stop started to beat the shit out of him. Piccolo tried to attack Goku back but he could not even touch him. Goku then went and decked him hard and threw him to the ground and said this is for Krillin as Goku powers up a angry Kamehameha wave and killed Piccolo. Before dying, Piccolo spit out his egg and threw it far away and told Goku that he she will live on as he died right there. Goku had stopped Piccolo and was the hero of the earth and the hero that the earth needed. He then went and gathered the Dragon Balls that Piccolo had in his possession and took it right back to where Go everybody was. Hearing the news that Goku has killed Piccolo. Master Roshi and Emma could not believe it and were so happy and relieved that Goku managed to kill the demon Piccolo. Goku then called for Shenron and he asked Shenron to bring back Krillin. 
Krillin came back to life and saw that Goku used up Dragon Balls to bring him back as he went and hugged Goku and thanked him and said, because of you I'm alive again. While they're celebrating, fortune teller Baba has arrived to Roshi's island and told Goku that he needs to go visit Korin Tower because the Earth Guardian Kami would like to see him. Goku then went up and used his power pole to go to the lookout and that's when he saw Kami standing right there. At first being confused that it might be Piccolo, Goku went and got angry and transformed to a Super Saiyan and said, you're back again for more? Goku was about to attack P Kami but Mr. Popo said that's not Piccolo, that's the Earth Guardian Kami. Kami then explained Goku everything how he looks like Piccolo and that's his twin and all and told Goku that Piccolo is still alive and that he is going to come to kill everyone within 5 years. Hearing that, Goku got excited to fight Piccolo and Kami told Goku that he could get him stronger if he trains with him within that 5 year gap. Goku has agreed to train with Kami as their training began and Goku was isolated from everyone for 5 years. 5 years has passed and everybody met at the World Martial Arts Tournament. As everyone was excited to see each other, Boma came first, then Goku came as he arrived and everyone was very happy to see Goku. Boma felt really amazed to see how powerful and strong Goku has gotten and she started to have some feelings towards Goku. Now that they entered the World Martial Arts Tournament, Goku first fought Chi Chi in the first round just like before. He then asked Chi Chi to marry him as she said he made a promise. To fulfill his promise, Goku asked her to marry him. From there, Goku then fought Tien and he beat him. Tien vowed to get stronger and now the main fight has begun as Goku vs Piccolo started. Goku and Piccolo fought head to head, blow to blow. Goku then knocked him out. Piccolo got up and went 100% as he powered up and he destroyed half the city. Goku then went and said, I too have a power hidden within me. As he began to scream, Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan. Once when Goku went Super Saiyan, everybody was witnessing Goku's Super Saiyan power for the first time, as they never seen what is a Super Saiyan. Goku then went and beat the shit out of Piccolo and knocked him out cold, and therefore he gave him a Sensu Bean to recover him and Piccolo remembered that as he left. Chi Chi and Goku got married and they settled down and they started their life together. Three years has passed as Goku beat Piccolo and the earth has seen peace and Goku had his son named Gohan but before they know it the peace was going to come to an end as Raditz has arrived on earth. Once when Raditz arrived he used a scouter and he sends that the powerfulest people on earth is two one is Piccolo the other one is Goku. Not knowing which one is Goku, Raditz went towards Piccolo and asked him, Are you Kakarot? But when Raditz saw the Piccolo's green, he said that's not Goku, and therefore he decided to leave, but Piccolo got mad that he interfered Raditz with Raditz and he tried to attack Raditz. Raditz then went and decked Piccolo hard. Raditz then used a scouter and went towards where Goku and the others were. Meanwhile, Goku was with Master Roshi and everyone celebrating after seeing each other for so long again, and that he has a son and all. Goku then sh sensed a powerful being standing outside Roshi's island. Once when Goku came out, he saw a man with a tail standing right there staring right at him. Raditz then said, yes, you're definitely Kakarot. The fact that you look just like our father says everything. Goku then asked, who are you and who is Kakarot? My name is Goku and I'm from Earth. Hearing that, got Raditz angry and said, have you forgot what was your mission? I'm your brother, you are a Saiyan. Your job was to eradicate this planet, but you did not. Hearing that got Goku very confused and shocked. Raditz then told Goku that you need to come with me as I have a mission. And if this is your son, he's my nephew, he's a Saiyan too, bring him too. Goku refused and told him to leave or else he'll get hurt. Raditz then told Goku that do you have any idea who I am? As Raditz used a scouter to measure Goku's power level. He saw that without Goku powering up, his power level was already over 9000 as the radar broke. Goku then got mad and started to beat the shit out of Raditz. Raditz wouldn't believe just how powerful Goku has gotten and why is he so strong, what hidden power does he have within him. Raditz then saw Gohan and attacked him with everything he got. Goku ran towards the blast and got hit. Seeing that Raditz tried to kill Gohan, Goku got so mad 
as he went and powered up to a Super Saiyan. Raditz for the first time has witnessed Goku's Super Saiyan power as he was speechless and Goku went and beat the shit out of him. And before Goku put the finishing blow on Raditz, Raditz told Goku that, that the Saiyans are going to be coming and going to avenge him and bring him back and that Goku and everyone will die. That's when Goku killed him with his Kamehameha wave. Piccolo then saw everything that Goku did and how he killed Raditz and Goku told Piccolo that if he's here to fight too, let's bring it on. Piccolo then said, not right now, I heard what happened, the earth's in trouble if there's more like him coming, let's train together, put our differences aside, and work as a team. Goku and Piccolo has now agreed to work as a team, as Piccolo saw that Gohan has a lot of potential within him, and asked Goku if he can train him, and train with Goku. Goku then said yes, as Piccolo, Gohan, and Goku were training together. One year has passed, and since Goku never died, he did not go to King Kai's planet, and therefore he did not learn any K.O. Ken or the Spirit Bomb. But at this moment, there's no need for Goku to learn that since he has the power to go Super Saiyan. After one year, the Saiyan has finally arrived. No one really stressed much about the Saiyan because they knew that Goku is the legendary Super Saiyan and he could easily finish them off. Once when the Saiyan arrived, Vegeta and Nappa got out of their space spot and the killing began as they started killing all the innocent life that were around them. Nappa started to destroy buildings and kill innocent life. Shatsu, Krillin and Tien got there first and they fought Nappa just so they could bring time for Goku to come and fight him. Nappa went and killed them before Goku, Piccolo and Gohan could arrive. Once they arrived, Goku saw what he did and he got very, very angry. As he lost it and out of anger, Goku went and transformed into a Super Saiyan. Goku then had tears flowing down his face as he was in pain of losing Krillin and his other friends and that he wished he could have got there so he could have saved their life. And before anything, Goku then went and decked Nappa so hard that he went and one shot at him to the ground. When Vegeta saw that, Vegeta got a little nervous and very scared saying how the hell can you transform into a Super Saiyan and before anything can happen, Goku arrived right in front of Vegeta and started to beat the shit out of Vegeta. Vegeta was completely speechless and couldn't even comprehend what is happening. While getting beat up by Goku at a Super Saiyan power, Vegeta's whole bones was shattered and he couldn't even move and just wondering why why a low class Saiyan warrior like him has a power to transform into a Super Saiyan that is once a legend. Vegeta tried to use his grade A form but Goku went and decked him hard to the ground and before he can use it, Goku beat him up so bad that Vegeta couldn't even move. And then right there, Goku was really upset and said that you killed my friend, I'll never forgive you for that. Seeing that his friend died by the hands of Vegeta and Nappa and most of them has already been brought back by Shenron, Piccolo came to kill Vegeta off but Vegeta told him that way, if you kill me off, there's no point, let me tell you something. There's a myth but we can go check it out if you want to bring your friends back. Goku then said, I'm hearing, what is it you gotta say? There are Dragon Balls inside a planet called Planet Namek. And he told Goku that it's a myth but I was planning to go there with Nappa if we couldn't find the Dragon Balls here. They have the wishing orbs too. And that's when Goku asked Piccolo to spear Vegeta. And then they decided to make plans to go to Planet Namek and wish for their friends to be back. Vegeta then asked if he can join them as he told them that it was Frieza that made him do all this and that his mission is to go kill Frieza. Hearing about Vegeta's story, Goku decided to give Vegeta a chance and said okay, you can join our group and help us with this mission as Vegeta and Goku now share the same goal and that is to kill Frieza once and for all and Goku's goal is to resurrect his friends. Vegeta wanted to know just how Goku was able to become a Super Saiyan and that he wanted to be just like Goku and therefore he decided to stay by Goku's side only so he can learn how he could transform himself into a Super Saiyan. Goku then set his sight on to go to Namek 
and get the Dragon Balls to wish back Krillin, Tien, and Chatsu. And that's when Goku gave Vegeta a sense of being as he recovered quickly and knew if anyone would beat Frieza, it would be Kakarot. Goku then went to Dr. Brief and asked him to make a special spaceship with a gravity machine so that he can train and get stronger. Goku then heard someone talking to him and he was wondering what the who is this in my head? As that person said hello, can you hear me Goku? My name is King Kai. King Kai? Yes listen, I'm a Kai that watches everything but there's something I must warn you. Don't go to planet Namek. A evil force named Frieza is there and if he sees you he will kill you. I'm sorry whoever you are King Kai but I am going to go to Namek and resurrect my friends. Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Boma, and Gohan, they all went and left planet Earth to make their way towards planet Namek. Goku went alone to train inside his graviton machine while making his way towards Namek but Vegeta insisted that he comes with Goku because he wanted to learn from Goku how he became a Super Saiyan. Goku then agreed to bring Pic Vegeta along and thought that Vegeta would be a good sparring partner for him. Piccolo, Gohan, and Krillin left alone with Boma to go to Planet Namek and start gathering the Dragon Balls. Once when they got there, they saw that Frieza was very strong and powerful as Piccolo sent such an evil energy coming from him and they saw that Frieza had most of the Dragon Balls. Meanwhile, Goku and Vegeta were training inside 300 normal gravity. For Vegeta at first it was very hard but he got the hang of it because he was very motivated to transform himself into a Super Saiyan. Five days has passed and they have finally arrived on Namek. Both Goku and Vegeta has gotten a lot stronger and they were ready to enter the battlefield. Once when they got there, Goku sensed just how powerful Frieza was and that he was already inside his final form from the start. Gohan, Piccolo, and Boma used the radar and they saw that Frieza has 6 Dragon Balls. Piccolo then decided to go towards the last Dragon Ball that Guru has and asked him for the Dragon Balls. Once when he got there, Guru told Piccolo that he has a lot of potential and that he could unlock his potential for him. And once he did, he asked Piccolo to please save this planet and fuse with Nail. And once when Piccolo fused with Nail, Goku then told Vegeta to go towards the Ginyu Force as they sense that Frieza has already called the Ginyu Force with him ahead of time. The plan was that Vegeta go and fight the Ginyu Force while Goku would go to Frieza and stop him so he could get the Dragon Balls. Vegeta went and fought the Ginyu Force as he went and managed to single handedly defeat the entire Ginyu Force by himself. Seeing that Vegeta has defeated the Ginyu Force got Boma so impressed and she started to feel attached to Vegeta. While all that was happening, Goku has arrived at Frieza's spaceship and he saw that Frieza was already outside his spaceship trying to look for the Dragon Balls and he saw Goku. Once when Frieza saw Goku, Frieza told Zarbon that who is this guy get him off my spaceship. Zarbon came and that's when Goku decked him to the ground and one shot to Zarbon. Frieza saw that Goku said please give me the Dragon Balls and leave this planet in peace otherwise you will force me to take action. Frieza laughed and said you weakling person what do you think you can do? As Frieza went and powered up. Goku then said I have something for you. Now! Finally comes the one you've been waiting for. Legendary Super Saiyan. And he went and transformed himself into a Super Saiyan. And when Frieza saw that, he said, You are the reason why I was already inside my final form from the start. I heard a rumor that a Earthling is actually able to have a high power level, but I never imagined it will be a monkey and able to go to a Super Saiyan. At first, Frieza underestimated Goku's Super Saiyan power, but once when they began to fight, Goku overpowered Frieza easily and started to beat the shit out of Frieza and Frieza started to fear the power of a Super Saiyan. Vegeta has arrived with the Dragon Balls along with Piccolo and Gohan too and when Frieza saw that, he went and tried to attack Gohan out of anger. Goku saw that and ran towards the blast and dispersed of it and got very mad and went towards Frieza 
and started to beat the shit out of him saying how dare you try to attack my son and then to end him once and for all Goku went and powered up a angry Kamehameha and he killed Frieza with it. Frieza died and Goku went right back to his normal base and that's when everyone heard the news that Frieza has died by the hands of a Saiyan and everyone started to celebrate. Vegeta couldn't believe just how powerful Goku has gotten and he was impressed with Goku's power and at the same time he felt that he could have beat Frieza himself. And that's when Guru talked to Kami and told Kami to use the Dragon Balls and try to wish back everyone that died. Once when he did, Kami then went and used the Dragon Balls and wished back everyone and Goku and all his friends went and used Parunga and asked him to bring back Krillin, Chatsu and that's when they all celebrated that the friends came back and decided to go right back to Earth. They all returned to Earth as Vegeta came with them and he decided to live with Boma because both of them started to have some feelings for one another. And from there Vegeta started to have a lot of respect for Goku because he seen just how powerful Goku is. Goku was able to go to a higher state that Vegeta couldn't even comprehend and that's when he had a little respect for Goku and now Vegeta's goal was to always chase after Goku and to be stronger than Goku. And one year has passed. One year of peace has passed until King Cold has made his way towards Earth to get his revenge. Once when he got there, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo and everyone sensed it and they made their way towards him. Once when they got there, Vegeta wanted to be the one to fight him as he went and decked King Cold right in the face and King Cold said, how dare you touch me. Vegeta then said, you filthy creature, you guys never find a way to die, huh? Now it's time for you to die once and for all and join your son in hell. Vegeta then went and screamed. He has finally transformed himself into a Super Saiyan. Vegeta then went and killed King Cold with a big bang attack. And thanks to Vegeta, he has saved the day and everyone went back home. While Goku was flying towards home, he saw a man was standing right there and came right in front of Goku and said, Can I talk to you Goku? Goku said yes and the man told him that, Listen, I don't have much time but I gotta tell you, three years from now, three deadly androids will come and kill everyone. Everyone dies including you Goku and Vegeta. Go just who are you and what? Three years from now? I'm confused. I cannot really tell you much. All I can tell you is that and he started to cry and said you are our only hope father. Tell me who are you? And when he revealed his face Goku saw it was a man with a scar on his cheek and the man said it's me father. Gohan. As Gohan went and hugged Goku. Goku was speechless and didn't know what to say. As Gohan told Goku that the android managed to kill everyone, even you and mom. How they killed me? They were very well trained and that you died trying to protect everyone and Vegeta died with a heart virus. Shit, what do we do now? I know that you're the only hope and now that you know that these androids will come father, maybe if you train now, you'll be prepared for these androids and you'll be able to stop them. Please, don't let what happened in my future happen to this timeline too. Don't worry son, I promise I will not let nothing happen. Please, father, don't tell no one that I came and that you know me. Don't worry son, I promise I will not tell no one and good luck. And again, I'm sorry son, I wasn't there for you. But now I promise I'm gonna make everything different inside this timeline. Gohan then smiled and said, thank you father and he left. Right there Goku then called all the Z warriors and told them that we need to train because I got a message that three years from now killer android is going to come and kill all of us. Vegeta got very serious and said I'm going to go and train so I can get myself stronger to kill these androids and Piccolo, Gohan, Yamcha, Tien, everyone agreed to train and help fight these androids. Three years has passed as everyone trained and they waited for this day to come. All that blood, sweat and tears that they used towards their training is now time to pay it off as they all made their ways towards West City. Once when Goku got there, he saw that the rest of the Z warriors including Vegeta were already there waiting for Goku. And once when Goku arrived, they were all looking over West City 
because that's where Gohan said they will arrive. Out of nowhere, they heard big explosion coming from the south and that's when everyone went towards the blast. Once when they got there, they saw three androids standing there. Android 13, Android 19, and Dr. Jiro. Dr. Jiro saw Goku and said, It's you, Goku. Huh? Me? Yes, you. You know, you are the one that is responsible for all this. What do you mean? It's because of you, Goku. After what you did, you made me go to this length and do this. What are you talking about? Vegeta then started to lose his patience and said, Kakra, let's just kill this old man. And that's when Jiro said, You destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. And ever since you did that, I tracked you down with a bug and I recorded everything you have done your entire life. All the fighting that you have been through King Piccolo and everything, I seen everything and stored it for data. With the knowledge of all the stuff that I seen you do, I use that towards my advantage to make these killer androids to be the most strongest mortal in this world. What? You mean the Red Ribbon Army has a grunge against me until now? I thought everyone died. Yes, everyone died except for me. So you mean to say you saw all my fights too? Even me going to a Super Saiyan, you know about that? Ha, I knew that from day one. So you even know about my fight in Namek too? Of course! You versus Frieza, the power of Frieza and your Super Saiyan power, everything! That gave me a huge advantage towards making my android. Especially seeing someone like Frieza, I'm glad you were able to fight him because that helped me to make my androids this strong. I got one more question for you. What is it? When I return to Earth, did you record my fight? Did you record me and watch me train and see what I did? No. After your fight with Frieza, I didn't need your power anymore. I decided to go use that knowledge and make these androids. You might think you know everything there is to know about me, but really, you're not even close. Hmm? Your calculations. Did they predict that Goku would be a Super Saiyan? Two. Mm, Super Saiyan? Two. Amazing! It's spectacular! Huh? Piccolo and Tien, you stay out of this! It looks like they only want me, and that's exactly who they'll get! This is a most unexpected development, indeed. This technique is not listed in my files, Twinkie. Nor in mine, but my senses indicate that there is no cause for concern. Yes, it is a most impressive ability, but it is nothing it cannot help. Thy team will demonstrate this by himself. Hmm. Huh. Alright, have it your way, but I wouldn't bank on it if I were you. Super Saiyan 2 Goku went and rushed at Android 13 as he went and started to fight with him. Vegeta came in and attacked Android 19 as those two went at it. While fighting, Vegeta was holding his own but slowly was losing his power. Piccolo saw and said, What the hell is going on? These androids are supposed to be weaker than us. But for some reason, that android that Goku's fighting is actually holding his own against a Super Saiyan 2 nevertheless. <laughs> of course, you foolish mortal. I saw Goku's Super Saiyan power and added that information into my androids to make them the strongest. 
That's why I wasn't concerned about Goku's new Super Saiyan ability. Goku heard that and went and started to overpower 13 as he was toying with him at first and now Goku went to the mode to go and start beat the shit out of Android 13. Vegeta on the other hand got decked very hard as he fell to the ground and when he got up, the Z fighter saw that Vegeta was breathing very heavy and he was holding on to his heart. Goku saw that and remembered that Vegeta was supposed to die by the heart virus. Goku went and punched 13 to the ground. Vegeta then went and fainted as he fell right to the ground. Before Android 19 can come and kill him, someone came out of nowhere and kicked Android 19 in the face. When he looked up, it was the man from the future, Gohan, as he arrived to the battlefield. Goku went towards Vegeta, picked him up and asked Yantra to come with him and he instant transmission both of them to Bulma's house and he left Vegeta there with the antidote and came right back to the battlefield. As Gohan went and transformed himself into a Super Saiyan, he went and powered up a large Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Android 19. Due to the amount of power that Kamehameha wave had, Android 19 failed to to throw the blast back and he died by Gohan's Kamehameha wave. Super Saiyan 2 Goku went and punched Android 13 hard as he was no match for Goku. Goku saw Gohan and said, It's good to see you again son. Thanks dad. I can see you really got a lot stronger. But dad, I'm surprised. Th these androids, they're different. What? What do you mean Gohan? How are they different? These weren't the one I faced in my timeline. They're completely two different people. As Jiro saw how strong Goku was and he telepathically told Android 13 that it's time for you to become whole again. Let's go and get your partner's cell and come to the lab. You got it Dr. Jiro. I can't wait to use my full power against them. Hurry up and give me that full power. Then let's go. As Jiro started to run to hers his lab with Android 13, since they're androids, they couldn't sense them. Piccolo got mad that he lost them and went to follow them. Goku and everyone split up and said let's find the androids and if anyone find them, raise your key level high so we can sense you. Meanwhile, inside Jiro's lab, Dr. Jiro went inside and he opened up two capsules as it was labeled as 17 and 18 and right next to him there were two more capsules labeled as 14 and 15. Jiro looked at 13 and said listen to me carefully 13 your full power will come by absorbing these two androids once you do you will be stronger than Goku and as for you and he looked right to his left and he saw Cell was standing there and he said I'm about to release these androids. Your job is to go and absorb 17 and 18. Jiro, just when will I reach my ultimate perfection? Right after you absorb these androids, you will get your ultimate perfection, Cell. You are my best creation. Don't disappoint me. Very well. Do it quickly, Jiro, as I want to be able to test this ultimate perfection power. From my database, Goku's new power is at 480 billion. That is way more than what we can comprehend. But once you guys merge, 13, you will be at 550 billion. And you sell, you will be at 630 billion. Goku going Super Saiyan was the best data I could ever collect. It really helped me to make you guys so strong. So don't screw up. Got it? Cell's current power level was at 8,750,000 while Android 13 was at 8 million. Before 13 was about to go and absorb his androids, someone came and blast the door away from Jiro's lab as Goku and the Z Fire has arrived to the lab because they sense Cell's energy. Gohan came in and he saw Cell and said, No. Not you! It can't be! Ah! It's you, Gohan! 
So you managed to get here too. <laughs> Everyone heard that his name was Gohan, as they were very shocked to see that this is Gohan from the future, including the present Gohan. Piccolo heard everything that they were talking about and told Goku that Goku, we need to stop them now. If they fuse with those two androids, we're done for. Don't worry, Piccolo. We will stop them. Goku! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the legendary Goku. It's a pleasure. <laughs> My name is Cell. The only thing that will be a pleasure is you and the rest of the androids buried down in this earth. I'm fighting so that Android 13 can go and fuse with his other androids. Goku went and kneed Cell hard to the stomach as Gohan went and attacked Android 13 and they started to fight. Piccolo went towards Dr. Jiro and started to punch the shit out of him as Jiro fell to the ground and Piccolo said, It's because of you, these androids are even created. Now die! He went and used special beam cannon and he killed Dr. Jiro once and for all. Seeing Jiro dead didn't bother Cell as he went and used solar flare at the Z fighters. But Goku grabbed his leg as Cell couldn't escape but everyone sensed the huge power level growing. Android 13 managed to fuse with himself and after fusing with his androids his power level came to be at 550 billion. Once when the solar flare effect cleared they saw Super 17 laughing as he ran towards Goku got him in a chokehold and told Cell to go and release your androids so you can fuse with them too and become perfect. Gohan tried to stop Cell, but 13 came and decked him hard as Super Saiyan 2 Goku went and kneed him in the back. He laughed and said, Goku, don't you know your attack don't face me? You are too weak. He went and decked Goku hard in the face. Goku fell down, got up, and started to fight Android 13. And before anything can happen, Cell went and absorbed Android 17 and 18 as he screamed and he went to his perfect form. Cell's perfect form power level came to be at 650 billion. Cell then came and told the Z fighters, Ah, oh, at last, I have finally achieved what is unachievable. I am perfect. And now, you guys are so weak. You will be my first testament to see how strong my new perfect body is. As he went and knocked Piccolo out to the ground and the rest of the Z fighters except for Gohan. As Gohan San was very upset and said, Darn it! I failed! Cell managed to go perfect form. But now we have dad in our side, so we can't lose. As Gohan went in front of Android 13 and Super Saiyan 2 Goku went in front of Cell and they had a stare down at each other. Goku. I can't wait to fight you. Please, don't hold back. 
Give me everything you got. <laughs> you too, punk. Fight me with everything you got. And sell. Don't hog all the fun. I want to kill Goku too. As a battle began, Goku went and powered up to his full as him and Cell went at it and Gohan couldn't hold his own against Super 13 as 13 went and punched Gohan hard to the ground and threw a blast at Gohan. Gohan got hit with the blast as he fell and he was knocked out. Goku saw that and ran in front of 13 and decked him hard as Goku went 100% and he punched Cell. Cell saw how strong Goku was and, and asked him. As him and 13 came and teamed up to battle Goku as it was 2 against 1. Goku was holding his own for a little while until those two went and overpowered him. As Android 13 went, punched Goku in the stomach, Cell went and punched him in his back and therefore they overpowered Goku and they started to beat the shit out of Goku. They beat Goku up so badly that he lost all his stamina and he went back to his normal base and said, No matter what happens, I'll not give up! You guys will die! <laughs> you and what army? You're too weak, Goku. I know you're a Saiyan. I too have Saiyan cell inside me. And I know you will want to come and kill us. But before that happens, why miss the opportunity? We will kill you where you stand, you punk! Cell, let me do the finishing blow! That way Goku will never come in our way and our mission is done. Goodbye, Goku! As they went and powered up an attack to throw at Goku. Goku went and caught the blast as, as it was getting closer and closer, but Goku managed to go all out by using his last bit of power and he transformed to a Super Saiyan 2 and threw a Kamehameha wave at it as the attack dispersed and Goku fainted to the ground. Gohan came up and went towards Goku as Cell came right in front and said, Hmm, I wonder, how did you get so much stronger? You were much weaker from the last time I remember, Gohan. There's something called training. I train myself to prepare for this day. And yet, it still wasn't enough. Ah, oh, poor little Gohan. Krillin came in front and out of nowhere he went and used a solar flare as it blinded Cell in 13 and right there Boma came with her plane and took Goku and everyone and they left the battlefield. Once when the solar flare, once when the solar flare effect worn off, Cell saw that they escaped and he got very angry and said, We need to find them! But let's have a little fun while looking for them i love your idea cell plus no one in this world is strong enough to fight us where can they go hide and recover it'll just it'll be just more fun to go and hunt for those dogs boma took everyone to her house and gave everyone a sense of being when goku got up everyone looked at goku and tien said just how can we stop these monsters they're too powerful I know, they're too darn strong! Even when Goku has Super Saiyan 2, it still wasn't enough! Dad, can we do something? Is there anything we can do to beat them? Whatever it takes, Dad, we will do it. We need to stop them, or else this world is doomed. I know a place where we can get stronger. It'll only take us one Earth Day, which would equal to a one year of training. Oh, so you're talking about that, huh, Goku? the only place in this world where we can get a one year of training. <laughs> yes, I am Piccolo. I'm talking about the hyperbolic time chamber. I did not want to resort to this, but now we have no choice. As Goku and everyone made their way towards the hyperbolic time chamber. Meanwhile, Vegeta has now finally recovered from his heart virus. As he got up and Boma told him where everyone was, he went and made his way towards them. Once when Vegeta got there, Goku and everyone saw him and were very happy that Vegeta was okay and Vegeta asked what happened. The androids, they were too strong. Jiro went and made two more androids that are way more powerful than anything we have ever faced. What do you mean Kakarot? Don't talk shit with me! How can they be stronger than you? You are a Super Saiyan too, goddammit! Vegeta! Can't you not sense their energy? Use your brain and sense it! 
as Vegeta went and he when he sensed he sensed just how powerful the androids were and he got a little shaken and started to shiver. These two androids go by the name Cell and Android 13. The reason why they're so strong they fuse with other androids. Just how the hell did they become so powerful? Because of Dr. Jiro. He saw my Super Saiyan technique and he managed to give these guys a huge boost. And according to him, Cell has all of our cell. What do you mean? He has your cell, he has my cell, he has Gohan's, he has Piccolo cell, and even Frieza's. How can we beat someone like that? There's only one way. There's a chamber right behind us. We get a one year training which only equals one day. So we all decide to go train inside there. Then Kakarot, let me go in first please. I missed the battle a lot, I want to go and get myself stronger. Sure thing Vegeta, go. A day passed and Vegeta went inside the chamber and came out. As he managed to get a huge Zenkai boost, but Vegeta knew it was not enough. So he decided to go again. But Goku went in next with Gohan. And he trained with his son Gohan as Gohan was able to go and transform to a Super Saiyan and even Super Saiyan 2. Goku came out of the chamber and then went again with future Gohan as he wanted to train with his dad. When Goku and future Gohan went to Hyperbolic Time Chamber, they trained too as future Gohan has gotten a lot stronger and when they came out, Goku went again but this time he went alone. As Vegeta was mad saying why is he hogging it? Hurry up Kakarot! But Goku has now managed to train for 3 days in the chamber which equals about 3 years of training. Within those 3 years Goku managed to have a huge Zenkai boost. Meanwhile, Cell and 13 were killing most of the life force that was there just to kill time until they lowered Goku and the rest of the Z warriors towards them. While sensing all that, Piccolo went to Kami to ask him to fuse with him. Kami refused to do so but once when he sensed the danger, he agreed to do it. Before Kami and Piccolo can fuse, the door of the chamber opened as Goku came out and everyone sensed his huge Zenkai boost. And they saw that Goku was in a very cheery mood and told Vegeta that now you can go in Vegeta. Vegeta looked at Goku as he said, I cannot sense him. He's so different. He's like much powerful. Just what the hell did you do inside there Kakarot? What new power have you achieved? As Vegeta went inside and started to train. Goku saw that Kami was about to fuse with Piccolo. As he went and stopped him from doing so and said, Don't do it Piccolo! You don't need to fuse! What do you mean? If I don't, we won't stand a chance against them! If you do Piccolo, the Dragon Balls will be gone forever! We cannot risk that! And if we end up risking that and the Dragon Balls are gone, then Cell and 13 killed all those innocent life for nothing! Trust me Piccolo, I'll handle it from here. Leave everything to me. What do you mean Goku? You look and act different. Did you gain something inside the chamber that we don't know? Or is this something that you're hiding? <laughs> don't worry Piccolo, just leave everything to me. All of us Saiyans will do it, we'll stop Cell once and for all and even 13. Goku went and ate a sensor beam as he fully healed himself and Vegeta has now came out of the chamber and said Kakarot let's go kill these androids. <laughs> let's do it. Come on Gohan and you too Gohan let's go towards these androids. Cell was about to throw a Kamehameha wave at a city to destroy it but once when he did Goku flew right in front of him and dispersed of the attack as Cell saw Goku and said, you finally came out of hiding. I wasn't hiding Cell, I went and got myself stronger. Strong enough to kill you guys. Oh yeah, just what the hell can you do you weakling punk? He's not alone you freak. Mm, Vegeta, it is nice to see you alive and well. Did you come here to die too? No. I came here to behead you, Cell! You don't stand a chance, foolish Saiyan. You know something, Cell? I won't even need to fight you. You will need to get through my sons first. 
But before you do, I must warn you. Leave this place in peace and I'll forgive you and 13 for what you guys did. And I won't come and kill you. But if you refuse to, then you'll leave me no choice but to go and use domestic measures. <laughs> are you high, Goku? What are you talking about? <laughs> kill us. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> you dumbass. What the how can you do, Goku? <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to see it. Goku warned Cell and 13 to leave this world and never come back or else he would have to go and kill them. Not listening to Goku, Cell thought he was just bluffing as he told Goku that him and everyone else will die today. You will not make it out of here alive, Goku. I mean it when I say it. I, Cell, will kill you and your pathetic son and you will watch your pathetic planet be destroyed. <clears throat> Cell, I want to be the one to kill Goku. Ha, <laughs> well, you leave me no choice. Gohan, and even you too, future Gohan. Show 13 what you're made out of. As both Gohans came and they powered up and transformed into a Super Saiyan 2, making their parallel be at 500 billion. While Cell was at 650 billion, and Android 13 was at 580 billion. Both of the Gohan split as one of them fought Cell and Future Gohan went to fight Android 13. Goku watched the battle and Vegeta got very upset that Cell didn't even see him as a worthy opponent as he went and rushed at Cell to attack but then Vegeta knew he was no match for Cell as Cell went looked at Vegeta and punched him right in the face. Cell then went and kicked Gohan hard as 13 went and punched Future Gohan right in the stomach as both Cell and Android 13 has overpowered both Gohan and Future Gohan and they start to beat them up. Knowing that his son didn't stand a chance, Goku wanted to test their power as Cell was about to go and kill them and then from there Goku came as a Super Saiyan 2 and kicked Cell right in the face as Cell got up and got very angry and said, why you interfered? I thought you were going to make your son fight us, Goku, unless you change your mind. Cell then went to power up to attack Goku, but then Goku went right back to his normal base. Seeing that got Android 13 and Cell very confused, as both of the Gohans fell right to the ground and Vegeta caught them and gave them Sensor Bean to recover. What I got for you, you'll be very confused. You'll love to see my new power. You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. Making Goku's normal base be at 1 billion. This is a Super Saiyan. Making his parallel be at 300 billion. And this... This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan. Parallel be at 600 billion. Or, you could just call this a Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> so what, Goku? I have seen this so many times. It's annoying me. <laughs> just wait. You cannot just die in peace, can you? <laughs> That's it, Goku. I had enough of your shit. Now I'm going to kill you. And this... Huh? Is to go even further beyond! Goku, what are you doing? You gotta stop! Your power is gonna destroy the entire world! I could sense Goku's tremendous power all the way from here!
Oh, what, what, what the hell is that? What are you? I'm sorry that took so much longer than the others, but I haven't had much occasion to practice this one. This is what I call a Super Saiyan 3. Oh my god. S -s -s -su Super Saiyan 3? As Goku's power level came to be at 100 trillion. <laughs> Why are we tripping out, Cell? Don't worry. He just grew a few couple inch of hair. I can tell he's too weak. That's why I was getting worried for nothing. Jiro made us this strong, after all, he did see all of Goku's power. <laughs> well then, if this is all you got, Goku, I must admit, it's still too weak. Are you ready, Goku? I'm ready. Show me what you've got. Huh, you cocky son of a- Out of nowhere, Goku went in instant transmission right in front of Cell, and he kicked him hard in the face. As he went and caught Cell again and decked him hard as Cell fell and Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Cell. Super Android 13 came and grabbed Super Saiyan 3 Goku but Goku elbowed his head very hard and kicked him right in the face as he fell to the water. Cell came to punch Goku, Goku went and kneed him in the face and threw him into the water as both of them were confused on how powerful Goku has gotten. What? what, what the hell Kakarot? What is this? I never imagined a Saiyan can go this far! How is it possible? Darn it! You got to go to this Super Saiyan 3? I never thought there's such thing as this! Ugh, why am I worried? It's Kakarot! After all, you always managed to go one step ahead of me, Kakarot. First you went Super Saiyan 1, and now it's 2, and you're the first Saiyan to ever go this form. Hmm. I wouldn't mind fighting you just to see where I stand myself. What has Goku become? He's... he's amazing! No! He's incredible! As everyone was shocked and amazed to see Goku's new Super Saiyan 3 power, both Cell and Android 13 came out of the water and they were very mad as they looked at Goku and 13 said, How the hell are you able to do this? You're nothing but trash! You got that? I'll rip your head! As Goku went, grabbed Android 13 right by the neck and he punched him right in his face as Android 13 flew 100 meter away and Goku went, stared at Cell, instant transmission right next to him and punched him very fast and non-stop attacked Cell as if he was a punching bag for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Cell and Android 13 were completely outpowered by Goku and they were in pain as Super Saiyan 3 Goku went and beat the shit out of both of them. Cell then got very mad as he went to attack Goku. Goku dodged all of his attack as none of Cell attack were able to even slightly touch Super Saiyan 3. Android 13 came to assist and none of them could touch Goku as he was too fast for them. Goku went and then turned the tables as he said my turn. He started to beat up both of them at the same time. Cell got mad and said you foolish Saiyan. How dare you touch me! As Cell went 100% beast mode and said, Goku, you won't be able to defeat me! I am invincible! And now it's time for you to die! Cell grabbed Goku as he punched him very hard. Android 13 came to help and together they started to hit Goku non stop. As Super Saiyan 3 Goku let them hit him. He then went and smiled as he caught both of their fists and said, <laughs> your punches, they feel like tiny little feathers. As Goku went and decked Android 13 so hard that his hard drive that he used to fuse with 14 and 15 came out of his body. And he went right back to his normal base. Cell saw and looked at Goku and said, how did you get this power? Shit, I screwed up. I should have killed you when you, I had the chance. Yes, Cell. You did screw up big time. If it wasn't for your cocky attitude by letting us train, I would never been able to achieve this power. But thanks to you, it let me go this far. And one thing, Cell, I'm a man of my word and power. And I must admit, you are the most powerful person I have ever fought. As Goku went and decked Cell again in the stomach, 
as it was so powerful that Cell went and spat out Android 18 and even 17 due to Goku's tremendous power as a Super Saiyan 3. He managed to one-shot Cell right to the ground. Goku then went back to his normal base and he told Gohan and Vegeta that they can finish Cell off. Vegeta went and powered up a final flash. Gohan went and powered up a Kamehameha wave as his Kamehameha wave went and hit Cell and Vegeta's final flash hit Android 13 but they tried to hold their attack. Goku saw that these guys are very persistent as Goku came right in front of them, transformed to a Super Saiyan 3 again and said, Get ready for the real deal! And it killed both of them right there. Goku with his newfound Super Saiyan 3 power, he managed to kill both of the androids as Cell and Android 13 proved to be no match for Goku. And thanks to Gohan's help by giving Goku the antidote to survive, Goku has managed to save his timeline and even the future, as everyone was celebrating with Goku. Vegeta came to Goku and showed his respect by saying, Kakarot, you're very amazing. I'll love to one day even have a spar with you just to see where I stand. <laughs> After seeing today, I have to admit, you're better than me, man. I can never surpass you. <laughs> Thanks, Vegeta. <sighs> I really appreciate that, Vegeta. It meant a lot coming out of from you. The next day, Gohan left towards his timeline as he said goodbye to Goku and everyone. And from there, he left to his timeline and he saved his own timeline by beating the androids that were there. Goku went and summoned the Dragon Ball as he wished back for everyone that died by Android 13 and Cell's hand. Vegeta challenged Goku to a duel as he went and powered up to a Super Saiyan 3 and one-shotted Vegeta. Goku and the rest of the Z Warriors lived 7 years of peace after the death of Cell. 7 years later has passed as Goku and his friends lived their life in peace. Goku had a new son named Goten as he grew to be 7 years old. Trunks, Vegeta's son, was 7 years old. Gohan has entered high school as Goku kept his training up with Gohan and they kept fighting one another and training to get stronger. Goku kept going around places towards the high block time chamber to Vegeta's graviton machine and training to get himself stronger as he is now able to use his Super Saiyan 3 power without any strain on his body. His power level increased big time. One day Goku decided to go and join the World Martial Arts Tournament. Vegeta heard and he wanted to join too along with Gohan. And once when they got there, they saw a man standing right there smiling at Goku and said, Hello, Goku. I've been waiting for you for this moment to finally be able to meet the great Goku. Uh, who are you? My name is Shin. Allow me to explain. Please, he is the Supreme Kai. What? Supreme Kai? I heard of you. King Kai told me about you, but I never thought I'll be able to meet you. Listen Goku, there's something I need to tell you. A very evil monster will be awakened very soon. He goes by the name Majin Buu. He's very dangerous. And once he awakes, he's, he has the power to destroy this entire galaxy. What? Well then let's go and stop him. <clears throat> very well. Follow me Goku. As Goku, Vegeta, Gohan went towards Babidi's spaceship. As they went to search for Majin Buu. Once when they got there, Vegeta went and fought Hui Pui, Gohan fought Yakan and easily beat him, and Goku fought Dubora as he overpowered him in his normal base and killed him. Seeing how strong Goku was, Vegeta got a little jealous and once when they entered Majin Buu's chamber, he saw a magician sitting there named Babidi. As Babidi looked towards them and said, <laughs> You're too late! You fell for my trap, Supreme Kai! What do you mean? Papada pa -pa! As Ma Babri went and used his magic to control Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta was screaming in pain as he says, Something's in my head, Kakarot! Ugh! Resist, Vegeta! Resist! I can't! It's kidding me! And someone said to Vegeta's head, Don't resist! If you get this power, you could be stronger than everyone! Hearing that, Vegeta gave in as his body had a huge boost of power.
Bobby's magic was so powerful that it managed to help Vegeta to become the strongest fighter there. It helped Vegeta to become very strong by giving him a huge boost and therefore Vegeta has now transformed into a Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm the power of a Super Saiyan 3 just like you Kakarot. Vegeta looked at Goku and smiled and said, Kakarot. Let's do it, what do you say? Used to fight, I'll kill your son and everyone where they stand. Goku, no! Don't fight Vegeta, if you do, Bobbity will manage to awaken Majin Buu. Move aside, Shin. There's something we need to settle down. Battle between two Super Saiyan 3. I can't wait. As Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Majin Vegeta had a showdown. As they're staring at one another. Gohan took the Supreme Kai. Goku then looked at Gohan and said, Gohan, take the Supreme Kai and go stop Babidi from hatching that egg. I'll deal with Vegeta. <sighs> Let's go, Kakarot. I can't wait. Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta were staring at one another as Vegeta kept smiling at Goku. Super Saiyan 3 Majin Vegeta's power level came to be at 100 trillion and since Goku had 7 years to master his Super Saiyan 3 power, his power level came to be at 400 trillion. Kakura, let the battle begin so I can show you how it feels to use a real Super Saiyan 3 power! <laughs> a battle between two Super Saiyan 3s, I can't wait! But we can't waste time, Vegeta. You fool! I'm here to prove that I'm better than you at using this form! As Vegeta flew at Goku, and both of their power clashed with one another. As the battle began between two Super Saiyan 3, Goku and Vegeta were going at it while the whole world was shaking because it couldn't handle the enormous power that two Super Saiyan 3 Saiyans were giving out. While they were fighting, then Supreme Kai and Gohan were trying to stop Majin Buu's egg from hatching by destroying everything including the egg as they saw it wasn't working and Goku and Vegeta's power were fueled that the egg needed to hatch. Any minute now Majin Buu was about to hatch as Super Saiyan 3 Goku went and decked Vegeta very hard as he flew to the wall and then Vegeta went and kicked Goku very hard as they looked at one another and they started to fight again. Well, well, is this all you have, Kakarot? I have to say I'm disappointed in you. You were supposed to be better than me, the strongest. Hmm. You have no idea, Vegeta. You're just all talk but no action. I can see you have gotten stronger, but yet again, so have I. As Goku went and headbutted Vegeta really hard, and Goku realized that Vegeta was starting to lose energy, but since Bobbidi's magic was in him, it was helping him maintain this Super Saiyan 3 form. We need to stop fighting Vegeta. This form is too much for your body. Your body's not used to it. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. I was a cold blooded killer. Fear from your power. I decided to become soft. But yet Bobbidi has helped me to become unsoft again. I can't thank him enough. And now I have the form. One of the strongest form in all the Saiyans history. I feel untouchable. As Vegeta went and started to power up to his full. He then ran and attacked Goku with everything he's got. As Super Saiyan 3 Goku was managing to hold his own against Vegeta. Vegeta! You will die! If you don't stop this, your power will eat your body up. As Vegeta went and started to beat Goku up. Not realizing Goku was toying with him. Vegeta then powered up a final flash and Goku went and threw a Kamehameha wave as both of their power clashed with one another and they got dispersed and they started to fight again. While that was happening, Gohan fired a Kamehameha wave at Majin Buu's egg but soon realized that it was too late as Majin Buu has awakened. Babidi was celebrating and screaming with happiness as he went to Buu and told him that He's his master and that he needed Boo to go towards Gohan and kill them. Majin Boo flew towards Gohan as Gohan went and transformed into a Super Saiyan 2 and they started fighting. 
Meanwhile, Super Saiyan 3 Goku turned the table as he overpowered Vegeta and started to beat the shit out of him. Before he can deck Vegeta, they both sense Majin Buu as they both stop their fight and they decide to go and help out with the fight. Well Kakarot, looks like our Super Saiyan 3 battle has to come to a pause. Give me a sense of being already, come on, Gohan and them need our help. Vegeta, sure thing buddy, here we are more than enough to end Majin Buu. And out of nowhere, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta went and he decked Goku hard right in his back as Goku went back to his normal base and he fainted on the ground. Vegeta then took the sensor bean, he ate it and he went to help Gohan as he wanted to be the one to kill Majin Buu and save the day. Once he got there, Gohan was getting bodied by Majin Buu as he didn't stand a chance against him. And from there Buu went and threw Gohan hard to the ground. Vegeta came and told Supreme Kai to take Gohan and Kakarot and get them healed and that he will deal with Majin Buu. As Supreme Kai went and took Gohan and he also got Goku and went right back to his planet to heal them. As Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta started to go and beat the shit out of Majin Buu. Buu couldn't land a single hit towards Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Majin Buu's power level was at 98 trillion as Vegeta went and powered up a big bang attack to kill him off. Before Vegeta can throw the blast at Majin Buu, he went and screamed in pain as he went and fell to the ground and he lost his Super Saiyan 3 power, making him go back to Super Saiyan 2. As his newfound Super Saiyan 3 power went and put a huge toll on Vegeta's body. Damn it! Kakarot was right! I was too weak! This power was eating my body! That means that clown was toying with me! <laughs> as Vegeta got up, and he powered up another big bang attack with everything he's got and he threw it at Buu. Once it hit Majin Buu, Majin Buu went and burst into millions of pieces but then he regenerated. Some of Buu's body part went on Vegeta as Vegeta noticed it and he tried to get rid of it but he couldn't and out of nowhere, Vegeta was covered with all that pink blob and it went and absorbed Vegeta. As Majin Buu has managed to become Super Buu by absorbing Vegeta, making his power level come to be at 450 trillion as he laughed out very hard. Back on Supreme Kai's world, he saw the danger that Majin Buu has become as he was very upset and scared and from there Gohan has awakened and he had an idea to make Gohan pull out the Z-Sword and train. Once when he did, Gohan went and broke the Z-Sword as the old Kai has appeared right in front of them. He then thanked Gohan and told him that he can unlock his potential as Gohan has a lot of potential inside him and from there, he started to go and release Gohan's potential. Kapito Kai came back as Supreme Kai told him everything that happened and he also told him to go and heal the Goku. Once when he healed Goku, Goku got up and from there Supreme Kai told Goku everything that happened. Oh shit, we're not safe from that monster and Vegeta, damn it! That idiot! If only he didn't let his pride get in the way, I could've killed Majin Buu! You mean you're able to overpower Vegeta, Goku? Huh? Oh yeah, easily! I mastered Super Saiyan 3 while he was using it for the first time. Also, Supreme Kai, what is this tell this technique that you use? How'd you manage to bring us here? Oh, <laughs> that's called the instant transmission, Goku. All the Kai's are able to use it. Wow, really? Can you please train me to use that too? I believe this technique can really help me to stop Majin Buu. Oh, that sounds like a perfect idea, Goku. Sure, I can train you. Come on, let's our training begin. As Supreme Kai went and he taught Goku the instant transmission technique. And once when he learned it, Gohan has finished his training as he went and powered up and now he became Mystic Gohan. Gohan came and hugged Goku as old Kai told Goku not to go and let his power get released while Gohan goes to fight with Majin Buu. Gohan then left to Earth as he saw that half of the population of Earth was gone. And Gohan's mystic form power level came to be at 689 trillion. Meanwhile, Super Buu managed to go and absorb Goten, Trunks, Piccolo and even Tian as they all came and tried to stop that monster. 
Goku was very upset seeing that as Gohan has arrived and the battle between him and Gohan begun. Gohan went and decked Majin Buu very hard as he went and kicked his ass and said, hmm, I'm here to kill you. Gohan then went and punched him very hard in the stomach as Buu went and tried to attack Gohan with everything he's got. But Buu couldn't manage to land a single hit on Gohan. While that was happening, back on Supreme Kai's planet, Old Kai looked at Goku and said, hmm, Goku, since you're a full-blooded Saiyan, I can make you stronger, stronger than Gohan, by doing one simple thing. <laughs> huh? Really? What's that? We can have your tail pulled out. What? What? My tail? Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> How would that make me stronger? <laughs> Allow me to explain, Goku. Once when your tail is pulled out, you will be able to achieve a new power far stronger than Super Saiyan 3. Sure, let's do it! As they went and began to pull Goku's tail out. Meanwhile, Gohan was toying with Buu as Buu was very frustrated on how to beat him. He didn't have a clue what to do as he saw a piece of his body was lying around from the blast that Gohan threw at him and from there Buu had an idea. Give up Majin Buu, you're finished, I'm going to kill you and for what you have done. <laughs> and how would you do that? You're not strong enough, huh? Are you high or something? Look at your body, you're badly beaten. Before Gohan can say another word, he was being covered by Buu's goo as it went and absorbed Gohan. Super Buu began as he went and transformed into a Super Buu Gohan Absorb, making his power level come down to be at 78 quadrillion, as Super Buu became whole. While that was happening, Old Kai managed to go and pull Goku's tail out as he has regained his tail. Supreme Kai told Goku what happened to Gohan as Goku got very upset and instant transmission towards Super Buu. Once when he got there, Buu saw Goku and said, hmm, It's you, Goku. You know I have your son Gohan inside me. Goten too. I'll make you pay! For what you have done, Boo, your terror ends here! As Goku went and powered up to a Super Saiyan 3, making his power level be at 600 trillion. As Goku went to attack Boo, Boo went and started to beat the crap out of Goku as he was no match for Super Boo. Goku wasn't able to land a blow as he was outmatched by Boo, and from there, Boo went and kicked Goku very hard to the ground, making him go back to his normal base. Darn, how can I lose? I thought I'll be stronger by now. With my tail out. Ugh. As Goku looked at the sky and he realized it was a full moon. It's a full moon today. I wonder how Chi Chi's doing. <laughs> Are you ready to die, Goku? Well, now is your chance. Say your prayers! As Goku went and his heart started to beat very fast as he react to the blood wave that was coming from the moon and from there Goku went and he transformed into his golden Uzaru. Being inside his Uzaru form, Goku had no control over it whatsoever as he went and started to attack everything that was there and Majin Buu was laughing at Goku. Goku then saw his eyes towards Chi Chi as she was standing there and she saw everything and she screamed Goku's name. Goku went and grabbed her as he was about to squeeze the life out of Chi Chi, but then he heard Chi Chi's voice. And once when Goku heard that, he began to remember everything and he began to transform.
Saiyan 4. Oh, wow. That's a Super Saiyan 4. As Goku's power level increased tenfold, making him be at 100 quadrillion. And now Goku has managed to achieve Super Saiyan 4. This power is what I need to end Boo once and for all. Hmm. You stay here, honey. I'll be right back. I'm counting on you, sweetie. Super Saiyan 4 Goku went and flew towards Majin Buu. As Buu saw him, said, What the hell are you? Buu, I'll never forgive you for what you have done. And for that, it's time for you to pay. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> are you mad, Goku? You can't do nothing. As Goku went and decked Buu very hard, and he came right back to attack Boo. As Super Saiyan 4, Goku went and showed Boo his power by overpowering him big time. Majin Boo was frustrated that he couldn't land a single hit on Goku as Goku went and kicked his ass. While fighting, Goku was adapting to his Super Saiyan 4 power as he noticed a lot of power that he has. He noticed that he has so much power and that he can go beyond this form by continuing to train with it. Thank you, Majin Boo. I was able to gain such power because of you. Shut up! As Boo went to punch Goku, and he punched Goku right in the face. <laughs> Your punches, they tickle like a tiny little feather. Oh yeah? Making a fool out of me? How dare you, Goku? How dare you? As Boo went, started to power up to his full power, and then he went and attacked Goku non-stop. Once he kicked Goku, Goku looked at him and smiled and said, It's over, Boo. Now I'm gonna kill you for what you have done. And now you will perish! Kame! Kame! Ha! Boo got hit with Goku's Kamehameha wave as he went and exploded to pieces. But then he got up and he started to regenerate as it took him time to regenerate. Boo then saw that Goku's Kamehameha wave was kind of weak and it didn't kill him as he saw one of his body part was missing and it was still sitting right next to Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Boo then used his power to try to absorb Super Saiyan 4 Goku but Goku went and exploded Boo's body piece as he went right towards Boo, punched him in his face and started to beat the shit out of Boo and from there Goku went and delivered the finishing blow. <laughs> As Majin Buu was no match for Super Saiyan 4 Goku and he went and killed him with his Kamehameha wave. Once when he killed Majin Buu, Goku then looked down and said, Gohan, Trunks, Vegeta, Piccolo, I'm sorry I had to kill him but I'll bring you guys back. As Goku went and instant transmission towards planet Namek and he used Parunga to wish back everyone that Buu has killed as Gohan, Vegeta, everyone including Dende has come back. Goku then went back and he saw they're all there as Vegeta looked at Goku and he smiled and said, So Kakarot, what is this? <laughs> this is Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta. Hmm, why does this not surprise me? You always manage to get stronger. Several months has passed after Goku has killed Majin Buu and the earth was in peace as their hero was training and even being a full time husband by working as a farmer. Ah, oh, I'm so bored man. I hate working as a farmer. Chi Chi always asks me to do stuff. Hmm, I wish there's something I can do. I want to train. Um, hey, Goku? Hmm? Who's that? <laughs> Let me explain, I'm King Kai, Supreme Kai told me about you and I was watching your every battle and I must say I'm impressed, why don't you come meet me, I'll teach you a new technique, it's called the Kaioken. Hmm, Kaioken? watching me, uh, creep alert, mm, just shut up and come to my planet, mm, okay I'll be there, but how can I find you, just sense my energy, as Goku went, and used his instant transmission and he went to King Kai's planet. 
Once when he got there, King Kai introduced himself to Goku, therefore Goku decided to train with King Kai and he started to learn the Kaioken technique. While Goku was training with King Kai, Vegeta was trying to train his own and find answers on how he can achieve Super Saiyan 4 just like Goku. Meanwhile, far in a galaxy, a destroyer has now woken from his slumber. As Whis came to him and he said, Lord Beerus, it is time. It's time for you to wake up. After all, you wanted to be wake up at this time, my lord. Hmm. Whis, I had a dream that I was fighting some Saiyan. He's very powerful, but I cannot explain it. He just has the power of a Super Saiyan God. Hmm. Is that so? Well, from what I see, my lord, there aren't much Saiyan alive. But we have about five living Saiyans, or even six, inside this universe. Rough calculation, and most of them are in planet Earth. What? What do you mean? I thought Frieza the bastard killed all of them. Hmm, he did, my lord, but these were the survivors. After all, this Saiyan right here, his name is Goku. He was the one that killed Frieza. You're kidding! A Saiyan killing Frieza? Mm-hmm. He is actually the strongest Saiyan out of all of them. Hmm, very well. Weez, I want to see him. Hmm, very well, my lord. He's at North Kai's planet as we speak. Hmm, training with the Kai, huh? This Saiyan sounds like trouble. Let's go. As Weez and Beerus has now left to go towards King Kai's planet. Meanwhile, Goku was there training as he was trying to get stronger and from there, King Kai sensed Beerus and Weez coming as he got very nervous and scared and he tried to hide Goku but before he can, Beerus has now arrived. As Beerus came and he looked at Goku, King Kai tried to stall but from there Beerus told him to stay out of it as he looked at Goku and he said, hmm, so you're Goku, huh? I heard a lot about you. You're the one that killed Frieza. Hmm, Frieza? <laughs> yep, that's me. So tell me, Saiyan, do you know anything about a Super Saiyan God? Hmm, Super Saiyan God, no. I know about a Super Saiyan and all that, but, but Super Saiyan God, no, I don't know what that is. Hmm, I see. As Beerus got upset for Goku not knowing about Super Saiyan God, and he decided to go to planet Earth to see if Vegeta knows about it. Before going, Goku asked Beerus if they can spar. As Beerus smiled and from there he said yes. Hmm, if you want to fight me, you need to go all out. Hmm, underestimate me? Fine! This is a Super Saiyan! And this is a Super Saiyan 2! <laughs> this, this is what I call a Super Saiyan 3. And now Beerus, my true power! This, this is what you call the legendary Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> I'm the only Saiyan that has this power. You're amazing Saiyan. I can see your power has jumped very high. Looks like this will be a nice fight after all. You might be the Saiyan I'm searching for. <laughs> Let's see then. As Goku and Beerus battle began, Goku ran and he rushed at Beerus as he started to attack him with everything he's got. Beerus dodged most of his attack and from there when he punched Goku, Goku went and he powered his fist and he punched Beerus very hard in the face as Beerus flew and he fell to the ground. Beerus got up as he was laughing and he really enjoyed Goku's fight and from there he kicked it up a notch as he went and he used 40% of his power. He then went and he rushed at Goku as he started to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku tried his best to attack Beerus as he went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave times 10 and he threw it at Beerus. Beerus dispersed it easily as he said, Hmm, you did push me to 40% Saiyan, but you're not strong enough. Beerus came right in front of Goku and he decked him really hard in his stomach. As Goku got hit and from there he knocked him out as Goku fell to the ground. Hmm, Whis, let's go to planet Earth. Beerus and Whis has now left to planet Earth for the search of the Super Saiyan God, while King Kai went and he informed Vegeta about Beerus and that he's coming. Vegeta got very nervous as he had no idea what to do and hearing that Super Saiyan 4 Goku didn't stand a chance against him. Beerus has now arrived on Earth. As he looked at Vegeta and he said, hmm, It's a pleasure meeting you, Prince Vegeta. Uh, 
Lord Beerus! I know who he is. I remember this bastard. Hmm. Do you know anything about a Super Saiyan God? Uh, no, my lord, I do not know anything about that. But I, what I do know is my wife's birthday today. We're having amazing food. Why don't you come join us? Hmm, food. Sure, count me in. As Beerus went and he was enjoying his time eating food and everything, while the Z fighters had no idea who Beerus was, and they were really wondering why is Vegeta so scared of Beerus. Everything was going well until Beerus went and he tried to get some pudding. When he went there, he saw that the pudding was done, as he got really upset and from there Boma got mad and she said to stop making such fuzz, and therefore Beerus didn't like her attitude as he went and he slapped Boma. Vegeta lost it as he said, What did you do to my Boma? Vegeta has transformed to a Super Saiyan 3 as he went and he rushed at Beerus and he started to attack him. Beerus wasn't impressed as he was holding his own but Vegeta summoned the strength to go and punch him really hard as Beerus fell to the ground. He then got up and said, Hmm, you're amazing Prince Vegeta, but you're nothing compared to what I fought Goku. Huh? Comparing me to Kakarot? As Beerus came and he beat the shit out of Vegeta. Vegeta fell to the ground as he didn't stand a chance against him. The rest of the Zeef warriors came and they tried to help Vegeta. Beerus went and he beat all of them down as they didn't stand a chance and from there he got mad and he powered up an attack to destroy Earth. Before throwing the blast, Beerus heard a voice as Goku came and he said, Stop this right now Lord Beerus. Hmm, it's you. Look, I think I might have got the answer to how to get the Super Saiyan God. Just give me 5 minutes. Very well, summon this Super Saiyan God. Goku then went and he decided to use Shenron, as Shenron was summoned and from there he asked him about the Super Saiyan God. Shenron told Goku that in, in order to get a Super Saiyan God, you need 5 pure hearted Saiyan pouring their energy into one and from there you will become a Super Saiyan God. Goku started to get worried as he noticed there's only 5 Saiyans and from there he remembered. Hey wait Vegeta, you have a brother don't you not? Hmm? Yeah, his name's Tarbo. I got it! Alright Shenron! My last wish! Please bring Tarbo to planet Earth! Hmm, your wish has been granted. I shall leave now. Farewell. Shenron left as Tarbo came right there and from there he was confused as he looked at Vegeta and he said, Big brother, you're here! Shut up Tarbo! Listen, we need your help! Huh? Goku explained to Tarbo everything. And from there, Tarbo agreed to pour his energy into Goku. As they all stand together, and from there, they all pour their energy into Goku, and he has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God. Beerus was impressed and from there Goku and Beerus battle began. They were staring at one another and from there Goku went and he charged at Beerus and now both of them were going head to head. Both of the power clashed with one another as Goku was holding his own against Beerus and they were going at it. Tarbo was very surprised that Goku was able to hold his own against a destroyer while the rest of the Z warriors were watching the battle. Beerus decided to go and kick it up a notch as he began to overpower Goku but due to Goku's previous training and having Super Saiyan 4 including his tail, that helped him to become a lot stronger as he managed to go and hold his own against Beerus but one thing that got Whis very surprised was the way how Goku was fighting. Whis noticed that Goku was fighting Beerus by using his body and not his mind as Goku was completely calm while his body was moving simultaneously. Hmm, this mortal is really interesting. He is already learning the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. I really want to train this mortal. I can help him reach that potential. Beerus went and he powered up an attack to throw it at Goku. While Super Saiyan God Goku went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Beerus' attack as both of their 
wave clash with one another and from there Goku managed to win the wave battle but from there Beerus came right in front of him and he started to beat the shit out of Goku as he was punching him non-stop in his face and Goku's whole nose was bleeding a lot. Goku got up as he went to re-attack Beerus but while he was fighting him little did he notice Goku has lost his Super Saiyan God power as he was matching with every blow with towards Lord Beerus. Beerus was amazed to see that even without his Super Saiyan God power, Goku was able to still stand his own and from there Goku went and he screamed <laughs> for, and he continued to fight Beerus as their battle got a lot more intense. Without having the power of Super Saiyan God but having that key inside him, he was able to mix some of that with his Super Saiyan 4 as he was standing a chance against Beerus and from there he said, hmm, I got something for you Beerus, what's that? Goku went and he used his Kaioken times 3 as he went and punched Beerus very hard in the face and he started to bleed as he was being sent flying out of space. Goku instant transmission right in front of him and he continued to pound Beerus' face non-stop. Beerus laughed as he went and kicked Goku in the stomach and from there Goku lost his Super Saiyan 4 power as Beerus said, hmm, it's time to die Saiyan, say goodbye to Earth. He went and powered up an attack when he threw it at Goku. As Goku tried to catch the blast but it wasn't enough and from there he felt a push. Goku went and he screamed as he regained his Super Saiyan God power. And from there he went and he mixed K.O. Ken with his Super Saiyan God power and he punched Beerus in the face very hard as Beerus was bleeding and he was surprised and from there Goku lost all his power. As he fainted and from there Beerus went and carried him back to earth. Goku has regained his conscience as he was surprised to see that Earth was still alive and from there Beerus said, hmm, you're amazing Saiyan, you actually managed to push me to 70%. Because I had such amazing time, I won't destroy your planet. Oh, thank you Lord Beerus. Hmm, Goku is it? Please, why don't you come to Lord Beerus' world and come train with me? I am Whis, I'm his attendant and also I'm the one that trained Lord Beerus. Say what? You trained Beerus? Mm-hmm. You both could come and train with me if you like. Oh, that would be amazing. I'd love for that to happen. Thank you, Whis. Hmm, my pleasure. One week has passed since Goku fought with Lord Beerus. And from there, Whis came to planet Earth to come and get Goku and Vegeta so they can train together. Once when they arrived to Beerus' world, Beerus was sleeping. As Whis gave them a lot of chores and from there, their training has begun. Six months has passed since Goku and Vegeta came to Beerus' world and they were training as they have managed to get a lot stronger. While they were training, Whis noticed that Goku was learning very quickly as he was very impressed with him. Back on Earth, Frieza's man came and he used the Dragon Balls as he wanted to summon Shenron and he asked him to bring back Frieza. Once when they did, Frieza came back as they had one more wish and from there they used that last wish to bring back the fighters that Goku has killed eight years ago which was Cell in Android 13. Shenron managed to go and pull this move as he went and resurrected Android 13 and Cell. Frieza's men were watching Goku his whole life as they studied him and they knew the enemies that he fought and they had this grand plan to make Frieza and Goku's other enemy to come back to life and work together so they can kill Goku and rule the universe. Once when they all came back they were all cut into pieces and from there they went and put them inside a healing chamber except for Cell as Cell went and he regenerated. Cell was looking on how he came back and from there Frieza man told him everything about Goku and how they shared the same common goal to kill him. Frieza came back as he was all healed up and from there he said, hmm since we all share the same goal why don't we work together and kill that little monkey. <laughs> Fine by me but first let me go and train. Me too, I want to make my skills a lot more stronger. Android 13 came back and from there he decided to go and train with Frieza and Cell too so that they can all go and kill Goku, Vegeta and the rest of the Earthlings. One year has passed since they went and trained. Goku and Vegeta has gotten a lot stronger. Vegeta was able to use something called God Key and even go beyond it while Goku went beyond God Key and he kept training to get stronger as he was learning the arts of the autonomous ultra instinct. Gohan has joined Goku as he wanted to start learning from Whis. Whis has agreed to train Gohan with him and from there he went and he started to train him while they're all trying to get stronger. A year has passed 
since Frieza has been resurrected and he went and trained with Cell and Android 13 as they were all ready to come towards Earth and have their revenge. Once when they arrived, Piccolo, Krillin and the rest of the Z warriors sensed his energy and from there they all went towards that power. Once when they got there, Frieza saw them as he said, Hmm, so tell me, where the hell is Goku? I want to kill him myself! Hmm, Goku's coming very soon. Just how the hell did you guys all come back? Hmm, we use something called the Dragon Balls. As they all heard a laugh, and from there they saw Cell came out. <laughs> how lovely. You Earthling managed to live out this long just so you can die by my hand. It is very fitting. Everyone got very scared seeing Cell has come back and from there Android 13 came and he said, Well, well, who wants to die first? Tell me. Bring it on, you little punks. Frieza man came out as it went and they started to attack the Z-Force. Piccolo went and he charged at 13 as 13 went and he decked him very hard. While they were all fighting, we saw his staff was glowing as he went to see it and he saw that Boma was trying to call him. From there, when he called Boma, Boma told him everything. As Goku heard in front of him, he said, What? Hmm, okay, let's go back to Earth, Gohan Vegeta. Now! As they all went and hold on to Goku, and he went and Kai Kai them to planet Earth. Once when they got there, Frieza saw and said, Hmm, looks like the cavalry has finally arrived. Bring it on, Saiyans. I've been waiting to show you this power. What? Frieza! What the hell is he doing here? Why is he golden? Goku! I'm going to destroy you! Hmm, well, well, if it isn't Goku, the one that killed me, now allow me to return the favor. We train just for this day so we can kill you, monkey. <laughs> I'm impressed, Freeze on Cell. I really am. You guys managed to get this strong. But again, I will still be the one to kill you guys. <laughs> Not without me! And then myself. Not so fast, Vegeta. <laughs> I like your thinking, son. Well, then, let's do it. I'll take on you, Cell. Vegeta, you can have Frieza. And Gohan, you take Android 13. <laughs> you read my mind, Kakarot. As they all stared at each other. From there, they all went and they charged at each other. As their power clashed with one another, Goku and Cell's battle began. And from there, Cell went and he was showing off his new power. While Goku was showing off his Super Saiyan Blue and he went and decked him very hard in the face. Cell laughed as he went and he powered up and he punched Goku back in the guts really hard as Goku spat out blood but from there Goku dodged all of Cell's attack and he kneed him in the face while Vegeta went and he started to attack Frieza. Golden Frieza's power was overwhelming Vegeta. Frieza went and he kicked Vegeta in the stomach really hard as he spat out blood and from there he started to punch Vegeta non-stop. Gohan went and he powered up as him and 13 were going at it 
Android 13 was holding its own against Mystic God Gohan until Gohan started to kick it up a notch and he went and powered up to full and he punched Android 13 so hard as he pierced through his body and from there Gohan threw a Kamehameha wave and he destroyed Android 13 into a million of pieces. 13 has died and from there Gohan went to aid Vegeta as Frieza was beating the shit out of him but then Vegeta went and brushed Frieza off from him while Gohan came to help him and from there both of them charged at once and they started to battle with Frieza. Frieza got annoyed as he went and he grabbed Gohan and he started to beat his ass up while Cell and Goku were going at it. Cell's new power was very strong as he was adapting to it while Goku's power was really amazing thanks to Whis training him. Beerus and Whis has now came as they're watching a battle and from there they saw that Goku, Gohan and Vegeta were losing to Cell and Frieza. As Cell and Frieza went and they powered up together and they rushed at Goku while Frieza went and rushed at Vegeta and Gohan. Goku saw that Cell and Frieza were a lot stronger compared to anything and that even as them working together was very hard. As Vegeta went and he powered up a final flash and he threw it at Frieza as it hit him head on and he fell to the ground. Cell saw that as he went to aid Frieza while Goku decided to go and power up the spirit bomb as he saw it was his only way to beat them. <clears throat> you won't win this battle Cell! <laughs> oh look, we have a boy here. After trading with Frieza for that one year having a sparring partner and having your guy Cell getting me a lot stronger, I am now beyond powerful. You guys don't stand a chance against me! Hmm. Now let's kill them and destroy Earth! Goku finished powering up the spear bomb as he went and he threw it at Frieza and Cell. They both caught the spear bomb as they went and they threw it back at Goku and from there the spear bomb went and hit Goku head on as Goku has disappeared. Whis and Beerus were very shocked to see what is happening as Vegeta and Gohan saw that Goku was unsensible and from there they went and they used their full power to charge at Cell and Frieza. Cell and Frieza were overpowering both Vegeta and Gohan as Cell went and he kicked Gohan in the stomach really hard breaking his ribs and from there Vegeta tried his best to punch Frieza but Frieza went and dodged it as he went and kneed Vegeta in the face really hard and Vegeta passed out. Once when Gohan also passed out, Cell and Frieza decide to go and power up an attack to destroy Earth. But before they can, a bright light has shined as Goku has now returned. Goku has tapped in to a power called the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Oh my god! He did it! I tried to train him to use this power and he finally did! As Goku went and he came right towards Cell and he punched him very hard causing Cell to break his arm and from there blood sprayed everywhere. Cell regenerated while Frieza looked and said, What the hell is this? What are you? Goku went and dodged all of Frieza's attack as he tried to attack Autonomous Ultra Instinct Goku but they couldn't touch him. Cell came and he ate Frieza as he also tried to attack Goku at once but none of them were able to hit Goku. Goku went and he decked Cell in the stomach as Cell puked out blood and from there he kicked Frieza very hard as Frieza fell to the ground. Cell got up as he got very angry and from there he went and powered up a huge Kamehameha wave while Frieza went and he powered up a huge attack and he threw it at Goku. Goku stood still as a wave came and hit him but from there Goku flew right in front of Cell as he managed to disperse the wave and he punched him so hard in the face as Cell head came out and Goku began to power up a Kamehameha wave as he went and he killed Cell with it. Frieza saw as he got very scared and he came towards Goku but from there Goku went and grabbed Frieza and started to beat the shit out of him. No one knew just what Goku was using as he saw his new autonomous ultra instinct power and he managed to kill Cell and now from there Vegeta was very angry saying, Damn it Kakarot, just what is his power? 
Frieza has lost his golden power as he didn't stand a chance against Goku and from there he tried to run away but Goku came right in front of him and he kneed him in the face really hard causing him to bleed and from there Goku went and punched his stomach so hard as it pierced to him and all his guts came out and from there Goku powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Frieza once and for all. Once when they both died, Goku fell to the ground as he went right back to his base form and he was breathing heavily as he couldn't handle that much pressure in his body. Everyone was very surprised as they ran towards Goku and they gave him a sensor beam. Vegeta looked at him and he said, What was that? Huh? Answer me! <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. It is called the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Goku, you have managed to use what the destroyers themselves can't. As everyone was very shocked to see that Goku was able to use the Ultra Instinct. We told Goku to come and train with him as he can help him master it and use it again. Goku agreed as they all went to Boma's house to celebrate their victory and Vegeta was very angry but he made a goal to try to achieve the same power. The earth was saved thanks to the Z warriors and Goku's new power as everyone was now living happily and very peacefully. Everyone was very amused and amazed with Goku's new power as they couldn't believe what power he used. Vegeta was very mad that he couldn't get that power as he vowed to get that at any cost. From there, Goku and Whis had left to train along with Vegeta as Whis was trying to help Goku achieve Autonomous Ultra Instinct power again. Hmm, the way you are right now Goku, I'm afraid you won't be able to get Autonomous Ultra Instinct. It is a very, very rare and hard thing to achieve. But if there's anyone that can get Autonomous Ultra Instinct, it will be you, Goku. <clears throat> I'm more than ready to try to get that power again. <laughs> yeah, right, Kakura. I'll be the one to get that power. And from there, I'll defeat you and Beerus. <laughs> Goku continued his training. And now six months has passed since Goku used his Autonomous Ultra Instinct. Jumpa came to Beerus' world as he wanted to ask him for the Super Dragon Balls. Beerus got mad and from there, they decided to go and hold a tournament of destroyers. From there, Beerus came and he told them about the tournament as he wanted Goku to win the tournament for him. Before going, Goku looked at Beerus and said, You know, I'm now stronger than you, Lord Beerus. Hmm? <laughs> Stop kidding yourself, Goku. We don't got time. I want you to prepare for the tournament. I'm serious. You wish. Bring it on, Saiyan. As Goku and Beerus looked at each other, and from there, Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku transformed to a Super Saiyan Blue as he went and he rushed at Beerus. Beerus was holding his own as he went and decked Goku really hard, but from there, Goku went and said, hmm, I have something for you. Hmm? And what is that? <laughs> Goku went and he used Kaioken times 10 as he mixed it with his Super Saiyan Blue power and he rushed at Beerus as he went and punched him very hard. Beerus' nose started to bleed and he said, Wow, Saiyan. I'm impressed, Goku. You managed to make me bleed. Congratulations. Now let's see if you can handle my 100%. As Beerus went and he used 100% of his power and he charged at Goku. Goku got hit by Beerus very hard as he started to bleed and from there Beerus went and he kicked him hard in the stomach. Goku fell down as Beerus looked at him and he smiled. As you can see, Goku, I wasn't even trying against you when we first fought. But now you see me at my true power, and you don't stand a chance. So next time, don't get confused, mortal, on who's stronger. <clears throat> I'm not done yet, Beerus. Huh? What did you say? As Beerus went, and he threw an attack at Goku. Goku dodged it. It's about time, Goku. Goku has used his autonomous ultra instinct power. 
Beerus got very surprised as he went to attack Goku but Goku dodged all of his attack as it didn't phase him and from there Goku went and he decked Beerus in his stomach very hard as he fell to the ground holding onto his stomach and he was in pain. Beerus got up as Goku looked at him and he said, Is this all you have? Show me what you got. Why you little shit? As Beerus went and he charged at Goku and they were going head to head. Goku was holding his own against him as Beerus was very shocked even at 100% Goku was holding his own against him while we smiled and he said, Hmm, soon it will be time for Goku to release the true power of Ultra Instinct. I wish to be there when that happens. Goku's power clashed with Beerus as they were going head to head and from there Goku went and he kicked him in the ground and from there he threw a Kamehameha blast at Beerus. Beerus got up as he tried to catch the blast and he was trying to hold it off but from there Goku rushed at him as he went and kicked Beerus in the stomach and from there Beerus passed out. Once when he woke up, Beerus got very amazed as he said, Wow mortal, you weren't joking, you really managed to beat me. You're really something else. Now I know for sure we're going to win this tournament. Goku was declared to be stronger than his own destroyer. From there, Goku went back as he gathered all his opponent and all the fighters for the tournament. And from there, it was him, Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Tarbo. As they have now all entered the tournament. And from there, Vegeta and Gohan were very keen on fighting first since they had a lot to prove from their last battle. Gohan went and he fought his opponent as he went and eliminated his opponent very easily until Vegeta got mad and said, Gohan, you're hugging all the fun. Let me fight. Sure thing then, go for it. Vegeta came in next as he went and he fought with Kaba and he taught him how to use Super Saiyan power and from there he knocked him out. From there, Vegeta went and fought the other opponent as they didn't stand any chance. While Gohan managed to take out two, Vegeta managed to take out two as he went and he fought with Hit. But Vegeta was having trouble with Hit as Vegeta went and he screamed and he used his Super Saiyan Blue power. Hit was trying to overpower Vegeta as Vegeta didn't stand a chance and from there Vegeta knew that Goku has been able to transform to his autonomous Ultra Instinct power again and that he was very hurt and he had a lot of pride and from there he said, No matter what, I will surpass Kakarot! As <laughs> Vegeta has transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue evolution as he went and he decked Hit very hard and therefore Hit got eliminated as Universe 7 won the tournament. Everyone was very happy as Vegeta was impressed with his new power along with Goku but from there Zeno has arrived as he was very upset that they did a tournament without him and from there he wanted to hold a tournament with all universes. Goku loved that idea as he came to Zeno and they became friends. Beerus told Champa that Goku beat him in a fight and therefore he cannot even believe that a mortal can be this strong as he went and used the Super Dragon Balls and he wished for Champa to have Planet Earth back on his timeline. While all this was happening, back on the future timeline, everything was destroyed as Future Trunks was running away from a very evil warrior. He killed half of Earth's population as he was in a mission to end all mortals and he said, Show yourself, mortal. I'm gonna kill you and rip your guts out. <laughs> Trunks ran to his capsule corp as Boma finished making the time machine and told him to go back and get help. Before going, Trunks looked at Boma and said, Mom, where's Gohan? But before anything can happen, Black has arrived as he picked up Boma and he killed her right in front of Trunks. Trunks got very emotional as he said, how dare you do that? <laughs> Come at me, mortal. I am Goku Black. And now, it's time for your demise. Black rushed at Trunks out of nowhere. He got decked in the face very hard as Gohan was the one to punch him. And from there he said, Trunks, go back to the past timeline. Tell everyone. As Trunks left and Gohan was fighting with Black. Gohan used a solar flare move as he blinded Black and from there he managed to catch up with Trunks and they both went to the present timeline. 
Hmm. Hide from me as much as you want, mortal. I will still find you, and I'll kill you. <laughs> All you're doing is delaying your fate. Gohan and Trunks has now arrived to the present timeline, as they crash landed on Boma's house. Both Gohan and Trunks fell out of the time machine and they passed out. Boma saw it as she ran to help them and she recognized Gohan and she went to aid him. And from there she went and she called Goku as he was training with Whis. But once when they got the call, Goku came back along with Vegeta and Gohan as they came and they saw Gohan was lying there. From there, Trunks woke up as he saw Goku and he thought that Goku was black and he tried to attack him. Before he can attack him, Gohan stopped him and said, Trunks, this is my father. It's not black. He looks like my dad. And dad, I missed you. I need your help. As Gohan went and told Goku everything about Goku Black and who he was, Vegeta and Boma kept staring at Trunks as they couldn't believe that Trunks is a future version of their own son. Gohan came to the future Gohan and he said, hmm, don't worry future me, we will handle this from here. As Gohan smiled, but out of nowhere, the skies went very dark as heavy winds started blowing everywhere and from there, a black hole came from the sky as black came out and he looked around and said, hmm, so this is where Trunks and Gohan went, huh? I see, they managed to come back to the time. <laughs> what the shit? What is Lord Beerus doing here? Oh, I see Goku is alive, huh? How's it been, Goku? I take it you're black, huh? <laughs> it is a pleasure meeting you. After all, it's not like every day you get to see yourself again. Who are you? And why do you look like me? Why, you ask? Well, why don't you come up here and settle this with our fist? And then I'll tell you if you beat me. Goku went, and from there, their battle began. Goku charged at black as he went and he used his super saiyan power and they started to fight one another. The battle got even more intense as Goku went and he transformed to his super saiyan god and he started to beat the shit out of Black. Black laughed as he said, yes Goku, I love it, show me more of this power, as he went and he started to power up. But before he can, Black got sucked back into his timeline. Gohan and Trunks couldn't believe that how powerful Goku was and from there they knew that if anyone can be black, it is Goku. From there, Beerus decided to go to Universe 10 as he wanted to talk about the time ring that Black had inside his finger. Back on Future Trunks' timeline, Black has arrived as he was hurt and from there he said, Hmm, this power of Goku, huh? <laughs> I love it. I'm going to make this my own power. You are very selfish, Black. You promised me that we'll get to fight them together. Hmm, don't worry. You will have your chance. Thanks to the Dragon Balls, we have this body. Hmm, I agree. I couldn't love it more. Now I want to have a chance to kill them and gut them out. You will get your chance, Vegeta. Goku has now arrived to Universe 10 with Beerus, as Beerus went and he talked with Goasu, while Goku saw Zamasu and he heard from Goasu that Zamasu is the strongest Kai. From there he wanted to spar with him, as Zamasu didn't want to but Beerus told him to and from there, Zamasu agreed and Goku went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan 4, as he said, hmm, don't worry, this is just some of my power, it's not even my true power. Huh? Hmm, whatever. From there, Goku went and he decked Zamasu very hard as he fell to the ground and Goku said, mm, Shit! Uh, my bad, <laughs> but I guess that was an overkill. My word! Are mortals in your universe this powerful? Mm-hmm. He's not the only one. We have some other mortal. His name is Vegeta. He proved to be a very powerful warrior. While this knucklehead can beat me. Oh my god. Let's go, Goku. As Goku and Beerus has left and from there, Zamasu said, Hmm, Goku and Vegeta, huh? Hmm, it's time to do my planning. Once when they got back, Boma finished fixing Trunks' time machine, and from there, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and future Gohan decide to go and make their way back to the future Trunks timeline, while Trunks stays here due to not having enough space for him to come. Everyone has arrived to future Trunks' timeline, as Gohan saw and he got very upset and said, 
I'm sorry, future me. I didn't know you are living in hell this whole time. Hmm, I hear you, son. I'm also sorry too, Gohan, that you have to do this alone. But now, I'm here to protect you. Leave everything to me. <clears throat> Where's that bastard? Let me call him out! As Vegeta went, and he threw an attack, and from there, Black saw, and he has now arrived, as he said. <clears throat> well, well! Looks like you managed to come here after all, huh, Goku? Let's dance! <clears throat> you wish, buddy! The only thing that you'll be dancing is with me! As Vegeta went, and he transformed straight into his Super Saiyan Blue, but from there Goku came right in front of Black and their battle began. Goku and Black were going at it as Goku went and he screamed. Goku has now transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue, and from there Black looked at him and he said, Hmm, it's time for me to show you what I have, Goku. What do you mean? <laughs> Black has transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose. As he looked at Goku and he said, Hmm, so what do you think? And going by the color, I'm going to call this Rose. That's right, I too have reached Super Saiyan Rose. <laughs> hmm, doesn't matter what you use, Black, I'm still gonna defeat you. As Goku and Black battle began and they're going at it. While they were fighting, Vegeta got mad. As he went and he powered up and he was about to attack Black from the back, but from there everyone heard a voice as they said, Well well, looks like you began your battle with your own counterpart huh Black? I guess I should do the same. As they all saw, Vegeta Black has arrived. As they were very very confused and had no idea, Vegeta looked and said, uh, What the hell's going on? Why does he look like me? This is crazy, now there's a Vegeta Black too? Hmm, I guess we gotta handle him now, huh? No! He'll be mine to deal with! <laughs> well, well then, bring it on! I too have Super Saiyan Rose! <laughs> Vegeta went and he used the Super Saiyan Blue power and he charged at his counterpart and they're going at it. While Goku and Goku Black were fighting with one another and everyone was watching a battle as we got two Saiyans going at it with their own counterpart Saiyans. Goku was very confused as he went and decked Black in the face very hard and from there he said just who are you and how do you look like me? <laughs> I want to know the same, why do you look like me? Hmm, if you want to know the answer to that, you must beat me, Vegeta! As Vegeta went and he started to attack Vegeta Black non-stop. From there, Vegeta Black went and kicked Vegeta in the stomach as he started to bleed from his mouth and he punched him in his face. As Black went and he jabbed Goku in the shoulders and from there he said, Hmm, so you want to know the answers to why I look like you? It is simple. I am Zamasu. Huh? I use a Super Dragon Balls to switch bodies with you, and from there I used your face and your skills, and I killed everyone, even your family. <laughs> While Vegeta Black went, he decked Vegeta in the face very hard and said, You wanna know too? I am also Zamasu. I use the Super Dragon Balls to switch body with you Vegeta, and therefore I have this power myself. And also, I was the one to do the finishing blow to your wife, Boma, and I killed your daughter, Bola. Vegeta got so mad as he couldn't hold his anger and from there Vegeta went and he screamed. <laughs> Now, I'm going to kill you! You'll pay for this! 
And now it's time to pass! And from there he went and he decked Black in the face very hard as Black was bleeding from his nose and from there Goku went and he started to beat the shit out of Black. Now I'm gonna make sure I kill you. You are done Black. Vegeta went and he started to power up a final flash as he went and he threw it at Vegeta Black. Black saw that they're being overpowered both him and Vegeta. Goku's autonomous ultra instinct was too much for him while Vegeta's blue evolution was too much for Vegeta Black. And from there he went, headbutt Goku in the face hard and he instant transmission right next to Vegeta Black as he kicked Vegeta in the stomach and from there he said, let's use our trump card, we must fuse. How pathetic! You can call us Zamasu! We are the true power of Utopia! And now we are going to kill where you guys stand! You are done! But we're not done yet! We have this power too! As Vegeta went, and he used his rosé power and he rushed towards Vegeta and he kicked him really hard as Vegeta puked out blood. Autonomous Ultra Instinct Goku came and he decked Vegeta in the face really hard but Vegeta went and Kick Hunt came and he joined the battle. But Goku said not to because Gohan would die against this new foe. From there Gohan went and he gave Vegeta and Goku a sense of as they ate it and from there Goku was able to reuse his power again. But from there Goku looked at Vegeta and said we don't stand a chance, Vegeta. We must do it. Hmm? What are you talking about? The fusion, Vegeta. Uh, I'm not gonna do that ballet dance. I'd rather die. Vegeta! Think about Trunks. As Vegeta was remembering Trunks, and from there he said, Fine, I'll do it. Alright! You can call us Gogeta! <laughs> I see! So you went and used a fusion technique too! How pathetic! You mortals just died to become like us god! Oh well, then let's see who would win this battle! We're not done yet! And this! This is Gogeta Blue! Super Saiyan Rose Vegeta Black versus Gogeta Blue. Gogeta and Vegeta went and they were powering up as they went to use the full power and they ran towards each other and the battle began as both their power clashed with one another and they were equally tied landing blows to blow. Gogeta went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave while Vegeta went and he powered up a big bang attack and he threw it at them as both of their waves clashed with one another. From there Gogeta said, hmm, you're very strong, I like it. <laughs> you pathetic mortal, you will die. Ew. To think you have our face in being this retarded, we'll kill you for that Zamasu. As Gogeta went and he charged up and he started to attack Vegito, while Vegito was holding his own and from there he started to overpower Gogeta due to the fact that there were deities. Gogeta got punched in the face very hard as he fell to the ground but from there he got up and said, <laughs> We're not done yet, we still got one more power. Ha! What can you mortals show us? Gogeta has used his autonomous ultra instinct as Vegeta Black couldn't comprehend what he was seeing and from there Gogeta went and he punched Vegeta in the back 
as Vegito's spine broke and from there he fell to the ground. He used whatever power he had to try to get up, but from there Gogeta went and he started to beat the shit out of Vegito. As Vegito Black didn't stand a chance against Gogeta Ultra Instinct, he went and he powered up in a final Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Vegito as it hit him and from there Vegito has died as his entire body has exploded and blood spread everywhere. They then went and defused back to Goku and Vegeta as they managed to save the day with their new Ultra Instinct power fused as Gogeta and from there Goku went and took everyone and they came right back to their present timeline. They told Beerus everything and from there Beerus went to Universe 10 and he destroyed Zamasu as the earth was in peace yet again. Whis went and took future Gohan and future Trunks back to their timeline as everyone was celebrating and they were happy that Goku and Vegeta worked together and they saved the future. From there two weeks has passed as Goku went to Beerus' world and he was training as he was trying to get stronger but he was very bored and said, hmm man, just when is Zenith going to hold that tournament thing? Oh I know, I'll ask him. Uh, Goku, don't you dare touch that button, as Goku has already used the button and he arrived in Zeno's palace. Zeno was happy to see Goku and from there Goku asked him about the tournament and from there Zeno loved his idea. Dai Chicken told Goku to go back to his world as he'll come back with the details and from there Goku came back and before Beerus can say anything, Dai Shinkin has come to Universe 7 and he told him about the Tournament of Power as they needed 10 warriors and from there the tournament is going to begin in 2 weeks from now. Goku was responsible to gather 10 warriors for the Tournament of Power. Goku went and he started to begin his search for a team. Dai Shinkin told Goku that Zeno would like to hold a expo match between universe 7 and 9 so that he can showcase his power to the other warriors. Goku agreed as he went to the expo match and therefore he brought Gohan and even Vegeta to come and join him inside this exhibition match. From there they went and they easily defeated all the opponent that was there and from there Goku and everyone came back. Goku began his search as he managed to go and get Vegeta, Gohan, Android 17 and Android 18. They needed 5 more fighters as Beerus got very desperate and therefore he told Whis to use his staff. Whis went and he looked at his staff and he said, Hmm, it's very faint, but I could see there's a very massive power level that's out in this universe. Hey wait, I have an idea! What about Frieza? <laughs> and even Cell in Android 13! What? Are you stupid you dumb bastard? They're gonna kill us! <laughs> Take it easy, do you know they can't beat us, we're too strong. Plus just think about it, with those guys helping our universe, we can easily prove that Universe 7 is the strongest in the cosmo. Hmm, I like your idea Goku, as crazy as it sounds, I do want us to show the entire other universes that we are the strongest. Go and get them. Hmm, this is very strange, huh? What happened we? It appears there's another Saiyan in a planet called Planet Vampa. And his power level is almost equal to you Goku, he is stronger than Lord Beerus. What? Stronger than me? I thought only Goku is! Say what? You mean another Saiyan is living in a planet called Vampa? <laughs> Alright then, let's go to planet Vampa and see this Saiyan. Goku, Vegeta and Gohan decided to go to planet Vampa as Goku went and he used his senses and he located where it was. And from there he kai kai them to planet Vampa. Once when they got there, they were very surprised to see a planet looks just like this where it's all wasteland and deserted and from there Vegeta said, hmm this is something that my father would have sent out class Saiyan out here, just why is this Saiyan in this place? That's a good question Vegeta, there's a lot of question mark that we don't know about your father. They start to go and check around planet Vampa as Goku sends where Broly was and from there. Paragus saw Goku, Vegeta and Gohan as he went to ask for their help but when he saw Vegeta, he didn't remember Vegeta since that was Vegeta's son King Vegeta and from there he got very mad. As he said, just what the hell is this horse shit doing here? Why are you here? Huh? Oh a Saiyan, I guess Whis was right. Vegeta, you're going to pay for your arrogance as Broly came and he stood right next to Paragus. Goku saw Broly as Broly looked at Paragus and said, Father, what happened? Goku got very excited. 
because he could sense just how powerful Broly was. From there, Paragus said, Broly, these men are trying to kill me. Are you going to let your father die? What? <sighs> as Broly went and he screamed, Broly powered up as everyone sensed his power and from there Vegeta got a little nervous and he smiled and said, so this guy is the one who's stronger than Beerus, huh? <laughs> I'll handle this, stay back Kakarot. As Vegeta went and he charged at Broly. Broly was overpowering Vegeta, forcing him to go and use his Super Saiyan God. As he went and he decked Broly really hard, but from there, Broly went and he got up and attacked him back. Vegeta was holding his own as he went and kicked Broly in his stomach and threw him to the ground. Paragus got worried, but then he saw Broly went and he screamed. As Broly went and he charged at Vegeta, and from there he went and used his Uzaru Wrath. Goku saw that the planet was being unstable. As Paragus came and he tried to attack Goku, but Gohan saw as he came right in front of Paragus and he knocked him to the ground. From there, Goku went and picked up Paragus, Gohan, and he came and took Vegeta, and he also managed to hold on to Broly and instant transmission them to Earth. As they all fell to the ground, and from there, Vegeta and Broly looked at each other and they continued their battle. Broly was going at Vegeta as he was trying to hold his own but from there Broly went and he started to overpower him big time. As he went and he kicked Vegeta very hard and knocked him to the ground. Goku came as he went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan God along with Gohan as Gohan went and he charged at Broly and got punched in the face by him. Before falling to the ground, Gohan went and he kneed Broly in the stomach as Broly fell and from there he saw Super Saiyan God Goku came right in front of him and he uppercutted Broly. As Broly flew meters away and he landed to the ground, he then saw Paragus was knocked out as Broly thought that he died and from there he got very upset and he screamed. Broly has transformed to a Super Saiyan as he went and he knocked Gohan out very easily. Goku looked at him and said, Whoa, you're very dangerous but it's so strong. Hmm. <laughs> Alright then, let's see you handle this! I'm gonna have to put a little power behind this! Goku went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue, as him and Broly were going at it. Broly was overpowering Goku, but Goku went and used his Kaioken times 20 on top of the Super Saiyan Blue power and said, You're very impressive, Broly, but I am strong myself. As Goku flew right towards Broly and he punched him very hard. Broly was trying to attack Goku, but Goku was blocking him, and from there, Broly was very angry that he couldn't touch him. Goku went and he decked Broly in the stomach very hard as Broly puked out blood, and from there, Broly went and he screamed. As he has now transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan. He then went and charged at Goku and he started to beat the shit out of him. Goku at his Kaioken times 20 was no match for Broly as Broly was non-stop attacking him and from there Vegeta got up as he saw what was happening and he said, Oh shit, this how is this Saiyan so powerful? Oh, it could be. He's a legendary Super Saiyan, but that's legend. Hmm, whatever it is Vegeta, we need to help my father. Let's go. Broly kept attacking Goku as he couldn't breathe and from there he went and he squeezed his head and he threw Goku in the air. As he went and he flew towards Goku and he punched him as hard as he can. Goku fell down. Vegeta began to power up as Broly went and he powered up a eraser cannon and from there he was about to throw it at Goku but then he saw Goku got up as Goku used his autonomous ultra instinct. You're very strong, Broly. I'm amazed you pushed me this far in power. Well now, let's see if you can handle this, my Ultra Instinct. As Goku went and he decked Broly really hard, 
causing him to break his tooth and from there Broly went and he tried to attack Goku but Goku dodged all of his attack and from there he went and uppercut Broly in the jaw as Broly was in pain and from there Goku said you should stand down you know I don't want to hurt you Broly Broly rushed at him as he continued to try to punch Goku but Goku dodged all of his attack as Broly couldn't lay a single finger on him and from there Goku went and he headlocked Broly and he threw him to the ground as his face smashed the ground and he started to bleed from his mouth. Broly went and he was trying to use whatever he can to kill Goku but Goku dodged it as he went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Broly. He used very less power enough to make Broly pass out as it hit him and he passed out as he fell straight to the ground. Goku went back to his base form as he went and ate a sensor bean and he also gave Vegeta and Gohan a sensor bean too. Goku went towards Broly and he gave him a sensor bean. Broly ate it as Goku gave his hand and said, You're amazing Broly, I would love to make you my sparring partner. There's a lot for you to learn, but I can help you unlock all your potential. What do you say? Hmm, sounds good. Goku went and he gave Paragus a sensor bean as he ate it and from there Goku explained to him and Broly about the tournament of power. And he also offered him to come and live in Earth with them as they can now become one of the Z fighters. Broly and Paragus has agreed as Broly has become the next Z fighter and Goku also told him to join his team for the tournament of power. Broly said yes and from there Goku only agreed if Goku brought him back to life. Goku agreed to this term and from there Frieza decided to join their team. They went to Cell as Cell saw Goku and Goku also offered him the chance to come and join the tournament of power and he's able to fight anyone saying Piccolo, Android 17, Android 18, Krillin, Frieza, Cell, Vegeta, Gohan, Broly and Goku as they have all now entered the tournament of power. Once when they got there everyone saw each other as Goku got very excited and he noticed that there is one fighter who had the highest key out of everyone and he looked at the fighter. From there the tournament power has now begun as Frieza and Cell went off and they started to eliminate as much opponent as they can. Vegeta went towards universe 9 and he went and started to attack all the fighters. Cell came as he went and used his shockwave and he eliminated most of the fighters from universe 9 as Frieza came and he went and used his finger beam and he managed to eliminate the rest of the opponent from universe 9 as they were all eliminated and from there they got erased from existence by Zeno. Everyone saw this as they realized this was the real deal and from there they knew they couldn't keep toying around with each other. Broly went and he started to attack any opponent that came towards him as Goku went and he transformed to a Super Saiyan 4 and he said mm, I'll handle this the weak one until I find the strongest one. As Goku went and he single handedly eliminated Universe 2 as they got eliminated. Goku went back to his base form as he was searching for the strongest fighter. Universe 6 Cal got berserk as she went and started to attack everyone and she transformed to a legendary Super Saiyan. She managed to go and hurt Khalifa and from there she went and started to attack anyone that came towards her. Broly saw that as he came and he used his Super Saiyan power and he kicked her really hard causing her to pass out. Universe 3 went and they did a fusion as they went and they transformed to Anazala. From there they started to go and attack Universe 7 along with any other universes that were in their way. Universe 7 got together as they went and they tried to take down Anazala but he was overpowering them. From there Cell, Frieza, Gohan, Vegeta, Broly and Goku all came as they used their power Goku and Vegeta transformed to Super Saiyan God along with Gohan while Cell and Frieza went and used their golden power and from there they threw a blast as it went and hit him and he got eliminated causing Universe 3 to be erased from existence leaving only 4 universes left Universe 7, Universe 6, Universe 10 and 11. They all split up as Goku began searching for the strongest opponent and from there he found him as he saw Jiren was staring at him and he started to walk towards Goku. Goku looked at him and he said, Hmm, so you're finally ready to fight me? Let's do this. Jiren, listen up. I want you to crush son Goku. He is the strongest. You know, you heard about him, the one that beat Beerus. But Jiren, no one knows about your true power. 
showed him why Jaren the Grey is the most strongest mortal to ever exist in this multiverse. Crush Goku and the Super Dragon Balls are yours. I understand my lord. As Jaren went and he walked towards Goku and they had a stare down. Topo saw that as he wanted to aid Jaren but from there Vegeta saw that Goku was staring at Jaren and from there he came to aid Goku as he looked at Topo and he said, You'll be fighting me now, bring it on! Cell and Hit saw each other as they came and they had a stare down while Broly, Android 17 and Frieza went and they worked together as they went and eliminated Universe 10. The tournament of power kept getting more intense as Goku and Jared were staring at each other. The entire universe stopped fighting as they wanted to see the fight between Goku and Jared and from there their battle began as Goku went and he rushed at Jared and he threw everything he had as he used all of his power but none of it fazed Jared. As Jaren went and punched Goku in the face really hard, Goku got up and said, Hmm, let's see you handle this. <laughs> Goku went and he punched Jaren really hard. As Jaren went and he used his fist and he powered it up and he decked Goku in the face again hard as Goku fell to the ground and from there Jaren came right in front of him as he picked him up and he threw him to the ground. Goku got up as he managed to go and power up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Jaren. But Jaren went and he dispersed the blast as he came right in front of Goku and he kicked him in his guts as Goku spat out blood and from there Jaren went and he hit him again as Goku went and he managed to break free and from there he used his Kaioken times 20 as he rushed at Jaren but from there Jaren used his eye blast as it hit Goku really hard and he fell to the ground. Jaren rushed at Goku and from there he started to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku didn't stand a chance against Jaren not using his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and from there Goku decided to go and use domestic measures. While that was happening, Topo came as he tried to aid Jaren but from there Vegeta came right in front of him and he punched him hard in the stomach as their battle began. Topo went and he started to fight Vegeta as he was holding his own against him but from there Frieza came and he interfered the fight as he threw a finger beam at Topo. Topo got very mad as he went towards Frieza and he started to punch him in his face non-stop. Vegeta saw this was his cue as he went right in front of Topo and he hit him in the guts. Topo spat out blood as he saw that they were overpowering him and from there he just decided to go accept his role and from there Topo has gone and he used his destroyer mode as he went and he beat the shit out of Frieza. From there Vegeta tried to fight Topo but Topo was too much for him as he went and started throwing Hakai Blast at Vegeta. Vegeta tried his best to hold him off but from there Topo went and he punched him hard in the face and he started to bleed as Vegeta remembered Boma, Bola and Trunks and from there he screamed. <laughs> And from there he charged at Topo. Topo was fighting him off until Broly came and he went and used his legendary Super Saiyan and he aided Vegeta as he went and easily one shot Topo out of the arena. Cell and Hit were going at each other as Cell was laughing and from there he went and he used his attack to attack Hit but Hit managed to use the time skip as he came right in front of Cell and he punched him. Out of nowhere Hit got punched in the face really hard by Frieza as Frieza decided to come and aid Cell and from there those two went and they started to fight Hit. As Frieza went and he eliminated the rest of Universe 11 fighter while Cell went and he used his golden power and he one shotted Hit out of the arena. While all that was happening there was only two fighters left for Universe 6 and from there Jumpa gave them the Potoa earrings and from there Cal and Khalifa has fused to become Kefla as she went and she started to attack anyone that came her way. Gohan came to fight her as he was holding his own against her and from there he went and he used 100% of his power. As he managed to transform to a Super Saiyan Blue and from there he managed to go and eliminate Kefla. 
everyone got eliminated except for Universe 7 and Jared. As Jared went and he one shot Goku hard to the ground and he passed out. All of them saw that as they got worried and from there they decided to go and use their 100% power. As everyone from Universe 7 came and they rushed towards Jaren. <laughs> Bring it on, you guys don't stand any chance against me. <laughs> I'll destroy you where you stand. As Cell came and he rushed at Jaren, but from there Jaren went and he grabbed his arm as he broke it off. And from there a lot of blood was pouring out. As Cell went and he regenerated but Jaren came right in front of him and he started to punch Cell in the face non-stop. Vegeta saw that as Frieza came to help Cell but from there Jaren stomped on Frieza's tail as he was in pain and he started to use Frieza as a punching bag as he went and choked Frieza with his right hand as he went and picked up Cell with his left hand and he was choking both of them and from there he threw them out of the arena as both of them got eliminated. Android 17 tried to attack Jaren as Jaren went and he powered up his fist and he punched him in his stomach really hard as he spat out blood and from there he was being sent flying out of the arena. As Jaren said, it's over. Broly, Vegeta, and Gohan came as they powered up to their 100%. Jaren went and he screamed as he used 50% of his true power. And from there, Android 18 came to sneak attack Jaren, but he sensed her as he used his eye blast and she got eliminated from the arena. Just what the hell is this mortal? Why is he so powerful? How can he do that to Frieza and Cell? <laughs> Are you a dumbass, Beerus? Huh? Jaren here is stronger than both of us put together. What? How is that possible? Hmm. Jaren did a lot of training. His obsession for power is what made him this strong. And when I became Destroyer, I decided to let Jaren train in my world. As he spent almost 8 years training there. Your universe is done. Gohan, Vegeta and Brawly stared at Jaren and from there they went and they rushed at him. As Brawly said, let's eliminate him at once. Brawly went and he started to attack Jaren as Jaren dodged his attack but from there Vegeta came and he punched him in his face as Gohan came from the back and he kneed Jaren in the back as Jaren flew a couple meters away but he came right back up as he went and he started to fight them. Brawly went and he started to give Jaren everything he's got as Jaren dodged all the attack and from there he went and he kneed Brawly in the stomach really hard as Brawly spat out blood but from there Gohan came and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Jaren. Jaren went and he dodged it as a wave went and hit the other arena and from there Jaren stared at Gohan as he came right in front of him and he decked him really hard causing him to be eliminated from this arena. Vegeta and Broly were the only ones standing. As Jaren looked at him and said, It won't be enough. You don't stand a chance against me. If I was you, leave this arena. <laughs> you wish Jaren, I'll beat you. <laughs> exactly. We're going to win. <laughs> you got that wrong. I will be the one to win the Super Dragon Balls. As Jaren went towards Broly and he started to punch him in his face non-stop. Broly tried to punch him back as they're going at it but from there Jaren said, You're too weak warrior, now sleep. Jaren went and decked Broly in the face as he came right in front of him, kicked him very hard and he threw him to the ground as Broly hit the floor very hard but from there Vegeta came and tried to attack him but Jaren went and started to beat the shit out of Vegeta as he kicked him out of the arena leaving only Broly and Goku. Broly went and he powered up a racer cannon and he charged at Jaren as he threw it at him but from there Jaren caught it and he dispersed it as Jaren powered up his fist and he punched Broly in the stomach really hard as his ribcage broke and from there Jaren eliminated Broly. Out of nowhere Jaren got decked in the face very hard as he saw it was autonomous ultra instant Goku. Jaren went and he charged at Goku as they were going at it and Goku was holding his own against Jaren using his autonomous ultra instinct. Goku's ultra instinct power was too much for Jaren as he got very angry and from there he said It's not possible! I cannot lose! I won't accept defeat! Might makes right and might alone! Without strength we have nothing! Jaren has used 100% of his power. As he looked at Goku and said, It's over! Goku, I'm gonna win this tournament! 
Jiren went and he rushed at Goku as he punched him in his face really hard and Goku's whole entire mouth started to bleed and from there Jiren started to attack him non-stop. Goku tried to attack him back but it didn't phase Jiren as his limit breaker was too much for Goku and from there Goku said, hmm, are you using your 100% power? Hmm? Of course I am! You don't stand a chance against me! Hmm, is that so? Well then, let me use my full power Jiren! Goku has now finally mastered his Ultra Instinct as he rushed at Jiren and from there their battle began. Jiren went and he attacked Goku while Goku dodged all of his attack and from there he went and kneed him in the stomach as he coughed up blood and from there he uppercutted Jiren right in the face very hard as he was being sent flying 12 meters away but Goku came right in front of him and from there he punched him really hard to the ground as Jiren was powerless to stop. Master Ultra Instinct Goku. He was being overpowered in every way as Jiren got mad and he went and threw an attack at him and said, It doesn't make sense! It's not possible! How can you be this strong? My friends are what motivates me to be this strong, Jiren. Without them, I wouldn't be the man I am today. What the hell? That's bullshit! Friendship is nothing! It's unnecessary thing! For you it is, but for me, they're my hope. I'll crush that hope! As Jer went and he threw an attack at Goku's friends as they're all sitting in the bleachers and the attack was about to hit them. From there Goku came right in front of the blast as he dispersed it and he said The truth is, I ain't no hero of justice or anything else like that. But anyone who tries to hurt my friends is gonna burn! Goku decked Jiren so hard that his jaw broke and from there he got eliminated out of the arena as Goku has won the tournament of power. Goku looked at Jiren and said, Hey Jiren, I would love to fight you again. <laughs> Me too Goku, as Jiren got erased from existence. From there Goku got the super dragon balls as he went and he asked for all the universes that were destroyed today to be restored and from there everyone came back as Goku was the hero who saved the multiverse. From there Daishiken really liked Goku's fighting style and everything and from there he offered Goku to come and train with him. Goku accepted his offer as he told him that his training will begin with him in a couple of weeks. Whis came to sell in Frieza as he said, hmm, Lord Beerus gave you guys this gift and from there they came back to a lie. But Jita looked at him and said, if you ever come near my planet. I will kill you! <laughs> we will see Vegeta who will kill who. Say what? You wanna test me? <laughs> Guys, calm down. We just won the tournament. And plus, Frieza and Cell aren't stupid. They got their ass handed to them by Jiren. How do they expect to beat me when I was the one that beat the shit out of Jiren? As they all came back to Earth, Frieza and Cell decide to go and work together and build an empire together as they left earth and from there they start to gather something called the Frieza and Cell Force. Broly settled down in earth with the rest of the Z fighters as they all decide to go and train so they can get a lot more stronger. A couple of weeks has passed since Goku won the tournament of power and he wished back all the universes to be restored as he was the hero for the tournament of power. He then went to Dai Shinkin's world as he begun his training. And from there, their training has become a lot more tense. While Goku was training with Dai Shinken, Vegeta and Broly were training with Whis as they were trying to get stronger. Whis noticed that Broly is a very quick learner as he was getting stronger and stronger. While Vegeta was making some progress himself, Gohan came with Supreme Kai 
as he also joined them and from there their training has begun as they were all training together. While they were training, back on Namek, an evil wizard came as he was absorbing all the life forces that were there and while he was doing that he was trying to gather the dragon balls so he can make a wish. Supreme Kai found his location as he came to Beer's world and said, Guys, there's a problem! Hmm? What happened Supreme Kai? There's this evil wizard who I've been following pretty much my entire decade and now I found out where he is. Hmm, so it's him again, huh? Hmm, who are you guys talking about? Hmm, his name is Moro. He is this evil wizard who escaped me before when I tried to destroy him and now he's back. Yes, and he's even more powerful than before. We need to stop him. Hmm, don't sweat it, Shin. Goku, Broly, Gohan, and Vegeta are more than capable of doing that. Hmm, I'm afraid Goku's not here, but these guys can help and stop Moro. That sounds very good. I'm going to go in and inform Goku. As Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai to Zeno's palace. Once when he got there, he saw that Goku and Dai Shikin were training with each other. As they were going at it and from there Dai Shikin saw Supreme Kai as he stopped his fighting and from there he said, Ah, welcome. What can I do for you, Supreme Kai of the Seventh? Grand Priest, forgive me for coming, but there's a problem with Universe 7. What? What happened, Supreme Kai? As Supreme Kai went and he told Goku everything that was happening, and from there he decided to go back to his universe and stop Moro. The Z Fighters got there as they saw Planet Namek and they got very upset to see just how much life forces were missing from this planet. Moro sensed them as he said, Ooh, looks like we got a group of Saiyans coming to this planet. This is amazing. I can go and absorb their key. Well, I don't got time to deal with them. Go and stop them. As Moro's best man went and they all charged towards the Z fighters. But Gohan went and he powered up as he fought all of them and from there he knocked all of them to the ground as they didn't stand a chance against Gohan. From there Goku has now arrived as he saw and from there they all regrouped and they flew towards Moro. Once when they got to Moro, Moro saw them as he said, Hmm, I see you managed to take out my guys. Hmm, how embarrassing. Oh well, looks like I'll kill you myself. Hmm, <laughs> you talk like you're strong enough to do that. Hmm, <laughs> no Brawly. This guy's mine to handle. <laughs> and from there, Vegeta went towards Moro and he started to attack him. Moro tried to kick him, but Vegeta took his leg and he twisted it as he went and decked Moro in the face very hard and he started to bleed. Moro laughed and said, hmm, Is this all you got? Show me what you're made out of! As he went and he punched Vegeta in the guts really hard and Vegeta started to bleed but from there Moro went and he started to attack him non-stop. Vegeta was in a chokehold as Moro went and he started to absorb his ki. He managed to steal almost 80% of Vegeta's ki as Vegeta went back to his normal base and he passed out. From there Moro looked at him and he said, Well well, looks like you're ready to fight too! Father, stay back. This is my battle to handle. Broly and I are more than enough. <clears throat> Be careful, son. He has the power to absorb your key and make it his own. Gohan went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave as he went towards Moro and he threw the wave at him. But from there, Moro went and he powered up his own wave and he threw it at Gohan's Kamehameha wave and their power clashed with one another. As he went and used all the power he had and from there he managed to hit Gohan. He went and started to beat the shit out of Gohan, but from there Broly came and he headlocked Moro very hard and he threw him to the ground. As Moro got up and saw Broly and said, hmm, You're very hard to fight. Show me what you got. Moro came right in front of Broly and they're going at it. While Gohan got up and from there he charged at Moro and he started to kick him. Moro was being overpowered by Broly and Gohan 
And from there, he saw that Gohan managed to drop his guard as he went right in front of him. And he stole all of Gohan's key as Gohan fell down to the ground and from there, Moro got a lot stronger. As he looked at Broly and said, hmm, Now you're next! Give me your key! Hmm, I won't let you come near me! As Broly went and punched Moro hard, but he saw it didn't phase Moro as he got a lot stronger. From there, Broly smiled as he said, Hmm, let me show you what I got! Broly has transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan Blue. Goku went and he used his autonomous Ultra Instinct as he came right next to Broly and said, This guy looks like he's trouble, Broly. Let's do it together. Hmm, <laughs> sounds good to me. Moro was trying to hold him off as Broly went and he punched him very hard and he managed to break Moro's rib as he started to bleed and from there he said, How can you do this? Hmm, <laughs> you're dead, wizard. Broly charged at Moro and he started to attack him non stop. Moro tried to hold him off, but from there Brawly went and kicked him very hard as he fell to the ground and from there when he got up, he saw that Goku stared at him. As he flew towards Goku and he started to attack Goku, but Goku dodged all of his attack and from there Goku went and kicked Moro really hard as he went to the ground and he passed out. Brawly came right next to Moro as he powered the attack to kill him, but from there Moro pretended to pass out as he saw it was his cue. And he went and grabbed Broly by the leg and he threw him to the ground as he began to absorb Broly's key. Since Broly is a legendary Super Saiyan, stealing his key managed to get Moro a lot more stronger as Broly couldn't move and Goku saw that. He then rushed towards Moro as he tried to kick him but Moro dodged Goku's attack like if it was nothing and from there he threw him to the ground as he finished absorbing Broly's key. Moro went and he powered up as he became a lot more stronger. Goku and Moro battle began as Goku rushed towards Moro and he started to attack him. But Moro holds Goku off as he was toying with Goku and from there he said, You're too weak! Let me show you my true power! Moro powered up as he went and decked Goku hard in the face and he started to beat the shit out of him. Goku saw that he was being overpowered by Moro as he was confused from how powerful Moro has gotten just by stealing Broly, Vegeta and Gohan's key. From there, Moro went and he powered up an attack and he threw it at Goku. As Goku caught the blast, but the power wave was too much for Goku to handle. As him inside his autonomous ultra instinct wasn't enough to hold the blast off. From there, Goku went and he screamed. Goku has now transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct as he caught the blast and he dispersed it with his bare hand. Moro saw that as he said, Hmm, this white hair of yours is pretty interesting. Let me absorb this key. As Goku stood still and from there Moro flew right towards him. Goku went and he kneed Moro in the face very hard as Moro's nose broke and from there he started to bleed a lot. Moro saw that Goku was too powerful as he went and managed to get right behind Goku and he stole his key. But then when he tried to absorb it, Moro's body reacted as he saw that he was having a hard time trying to take Goku's key and from there he started to bleed a lot. And he coughed up blood and said, Just what the hell are you? As his body couldn't handle Master Ultra Instinct Key. Goku went right towards him as he went and kicked Moro hard to the ground as he grabbed him by his face and he scraped it towards the ground and he threw him in the air. As Moro was bleeding a lot and from there Goku went and he started to beat the shit out of Moro. As he went and decked his arm out and from there he started to punch him non-stop. Goku looked at him and he said, hmm, You're a fool. You could steal as much energy as you want, but you cannot come near my master ultra instinct. As he went and powered up his fist and he decked Moro in the stomach very hard as it pierced to his stomach and from there all of his guts came out as Moro couldn't breathe and Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Moro with it. From there Goku went right back to his normal base as he instant transmission right towards planet earth 
and he gathered the Dragon Balls and he wished back for all the Namekians that died by Moro, as he managed to go save the day and restore all the Namekians that died by him. Everyone came to Earth as they were celebrating and from there Whis came and he congratulated Goku and everyone on their battle. As he looked at Goku and he said, Hmm, Goku, I want to see your training. I want to see how powerful you have gotten after training with my father. Show me what you got. Let's have a mini sparring session. <laughs> Sounds fun to me, Whis. As Goku and Whis decided to go and spar with each other and from there, they went and they charged at one another. Goku was holding his own against Whis. While Whis was surprised along with everyone that Goku was able to hold his own against him and from there Goku went and he screamed as he used his master ultra instinct and from there he went and charged up to 100%. From there Goku went and he rushed at Whis as he started to attack him non-stop. Whis was surprised to see just how powerful Goku was as he managed to push Whis to 70%. From there Whis went and he knocked Goku hard to the ground as he passed out and from there Whis came right next to Goku and he restored him as he said. Well Goku, you are really amazing. You are definitely the strongest mortal in this multiverse. You were holding your own against me at 70%. Very good. <laughs> Thanks Whis. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to strive to get stronger so I can surpass all of you guys. I want to be the strongest in this multiverse. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like a very good goal Goku. I wish you luck. While all that was happening, far in a galaxy, a planet has been destroyed as a Saiyan came out and from there he was the one that destroyed the planet. From there his partner came and his name was Heart as he came to him and he said, Hmm, I didn't release you so you could be out of your prison and start destroying stuff. You have a mission. Go to Universe 7 and destroy planet Earth. Kill all the Earthling along with the Saiyans and get me the Universe Seed as I'll make my way to the other universes and I'll steal it myself. Goku, Vegeta and Broly along with Gohan were all training together as they were trying to get a lot more than they were before. As Vegeta was going all out along with Broly while Gohan was trying to hold his own against Goku. Goku was having fun toying with them as he was trying to brush up his skills and see where they stand against him. While they were training, little did they knew Cumber and Hart were trying to get the universe seat while Cumber was making his way towards Earth. Supreme Kai and Whis went to Zeno's palace as they were called by Dai Shinkin and from there they have now arrived. Once when their meeting was done, Supreme Kai and Whis came back to Beerus' world as Whis came and said, Goku, listen, there's something that's happening that we need you guys to know and to stop it. Hmm? What is it Whis? This universe is in trouble. Hmm? What happened? There's this man. His name is Hart. He is trying to gather the universe seed as he's managed to go and already get some of the seed. From universe 3, 6 and 8. He is now in universe 9 as we speak and he's trying to get the seed. And while he's doing that, he has sent his warrior to come to earth and to destroy everything that's here. Hmm, don't worry. We will take care of everything. We will stop him. Right, lead this to us, Whis. As Goku and the rest of the Z fighters went and they got themselves prepared for Heart and for Heart's man to come to Earth and fight them. They have all arrived on Earth as they are waiting for the man and from there they sense a very evil key coming towards them as they couldn't believe how powerful this person was and out of nowhere he has now arrived as they all saw Cumber and from there he flew towards them. Once when he got there, Goku and the rest of the Z warriors were very surprised and worried by sensing Cumber's key and from there Goku said, I take it you're here for the universe seed. <clears throat> you can call me Cumber. I don't give a shit about your universe or anything. I'm here for your heads as I want to behead you and keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> so who do you think you are? I'll show you just who you think you're messing with. As Vegeta went and he charged towards Cumber. Cumber wasn't phased by Vegeta's attack and from there Cumber went and he punched Vegeta very hard in the stomach and he kicked him to the ground. Vegeta fell down hard and from there he went and threw an attack at Vegeta. Vegeta got hit head on and from there he passed out. 
Goku, Broly, Gohan, and even Android 17. All of them powered up as they went to attack Cumber. But Cumber went and he knocked all of them to the ground. As Goku looked at him and he said, Damn, this guy's strong! We cannot toy around! We need to use our full power and end him quick! Broly went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan. As he went head to head with Cumber and they started to attack one another. Cumber went and he punched Brawly, while Brawly went and kicked him and they're going at it and from there Cumber went and powered up his fist and he punched Brawly hard in his jaw as Brawly fell down but from there Gohan came and he tried to attack Cumber but Cumber dodged it very easily as he held Gohan's fist and said You're one weak Saiyan, you're an embarrassment! Before he can attack him, Android 17 came and he used his attack on Cumber as it hit him and from there Cumber got very mad. Cumber looked at him and said, Now you guys are done! Cumber has now transformed into his Super Saiyan as he went and he attacked the Z fighters. Brawly was holding his own against him while Goku came and he used his Kaioken times 20 with Super Saiyan Blue and he punched Cumber hard but it didn't phase him as Cumber went and he elbowed Goku very hard and he flew meters away. From there Cumber went and threw an attack at them as Goku tried hard to disperse of it but from there he fell down and he managed to get rid of the attack and said you're very strong but I still have a lot of reserve myself. Vegeta got up as he screamed. Vegeta transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue evolution and said, I'm the Prince of all Saiyan! I demand you to kneel before me! As Vegeta flew towards Cumber and he kicked Cumber hard, Cumber fell down and from there, when he got up, Broly went and transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan Blue and he punched Cumber in the face very hard as Vegeta and Broly went and they started to attack him in every side. Goku uses Autonomous Ultra Instinct as he went and powered up a Kamehameha wave while Vegeta went and threw a final flash at him and from there Gohan came and powered up his own Kamehameha wave and all of them combined their attacks and they threw it at him as it went and hit him and he fell to the ground. Cumber got right back up as he looked at him and he said, You guys are all weak. I'm going to enjoy gutting you out. I'll start with you, Prince. As he went and flew towards Vegeta and punched him and said, you ain't shit, I'm the king of all Saiyan! Cumber went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan 3 as his power level skyrocketed. Goku sensed just how powerful he was as Brawly got a little nervous sensing and from there he went and he powered up to his 100% and he charged at Cumber along with Vegeta as they all went and started to attack him and from there Cumber went and used 50% of his power and he beat the shit out of Broly and Vegeta as they didn't stand a chance against him. Goku came and he punched Cumber in the face very hard as Cumber twitched and from there he stared at Goku. Goku got a little excited and nervous and he said, shit even at my full power using Ultra Instinct he only twitched. <laughs> This guy will be a challenge, I could see that. Goku went to attack Cumber, but from there Cumber went and he grabbed his arm and he twisted as Goku was screaming in pain. Broly came as he was bleeding from his chest and he rushed towards Cumber, but from there he managed to go and hit him hard in the stomach and said, I will kill you. Hmm, you're very strong legendary Super Saiyan, I'm impressed, but you're nothing compared to me. Cumber went and kicked Broly in his head as he passed out and from there he looked at Goku and said you're probably the second strongest I have ever fought but now you are done. He went and headbutted Goku really hard. Now it's time to end this Cumber once and for all. Hmm, <laughs> You're too weak. What can you do? Let me show you. <laughs> As everyone saw the final battle was about to take place, Master Ultra Instinct Goku vs Super Saiyan 3 Cumber. Goku flew towards him and from there he decked Cumber in the face really hard as he flew 10 meters away. 
Everyone was surprised to see how powerful Master Ultra Instinct was because they couldn't manage to hit Cumber at full power, but Goku managed to hit him and make him be sent flying 10 meters away. As Cumber's face was really damaged and from there he got up and he said, How are you this powerful? It makes no sense! Shit, this Saiyan is something else. We have a battle between the two most powerful Saiyan to ever exist. Who are you? How can a Saiyan be this strong? I'm the strongest! Hmm. You were the strongest. Now you're going to die by my hands, Cumber. As Goku went and he pulled Cumber's mask off as he was screaming in pain and from there Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Cumber as it went and destroyed his entire body. Everyone from there went to Goku as he managed to go and kill Cumber and they hmm, good job Goku, I'm very impressed, you keep getting stronger and stronger. <sighs> the best part is we managed to save our universe C. Dai Shinken has arrived as he said. Apparently, two men managed to go and get the universe seed from your universe and he gave it to Heart. And now, Heart managed to go and gather majority of the universe seed. He is in universe 11 as we speak, trying to take their universe seed. But how? Can he take our seed? Who gave it to him? Oh, never mind that. I am going to go to universe 11. Broly, Vegeta, let's go! Hmm, take it easy Goku. You must rest. Universe 11 already has a very strong fighter. Have you already forgotten? Jiren, you're right. He is holding his own. But I want Vegeta, Broly, Android 17, and Gohan to go to Universe 11 and aid Jiren. Goku, come with me. You and I have to do some training before you go and fight hard in case he managed to succeed and collect the Universe Seed. While that was happening, back on Universe 11, Two warriors came to Hearts as they went and gave him the Universe Seed. Hearts thanked them and said, You did very well, Frieza and Cell. I am impressed. Well, anything for you if you manage to go and kill that pathetic Saiyan Goku and make us stronger. I don't care. I just want to see them die and join this army. Very well then. We managed to add two additional strong warriors to our team. Now, Let's go to the Destroyer World and take their Universe Seed. Heart managed to get the Universe Seed from all the universes except for Universe 11 as Frieza and Cell were the one to find the Universe Seed from Universe 7 and they gave it to Heart. Heart's main mission was to gather all the Universe Seed so that he can go against Zeno and try to kill him and therefore he decided to go to Universe 11 so that he can get Hmm, looks like all you guys has arrived. How amazing. <laughs> Don't worry about them. I'll deal with them. These losers are mine to handle. Frieza! I knew you cannot be trusted. I'll kill you before you blink. As Vegeta went and he transformed to a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and he rushed towards Frieza as he powered up his fist and he punched him in the face very hard. Topo came as he said, Let me aid you, warrior. And he used his destroyer mode. Both of them went and they charged at Frieza, while Hart's best man came, Fu, and he said, Hmm, I'll handle this myself. You go find the rest of the universe seed. The last one's somewhere here. I can sense it. Thank you. I'll go search for it, and there we can use our true power. Cell came right next to Fu as he used his golden power, and from there they all charged towards the Z fighter. Broly went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan Blue as he ran and he charged at Fu along with the other pride trooper while Gohan went Mystic Blue and he charged at Cell and he started to kick his ass. Beers got mad to see that Frieza and Cell were the one that betrayed Universe 7 and gave Heart the Universe Seed as he came right in front of them and he went and powered up a Hawkeye. But Gohan said no as he said, don't do it, I want to handle myself, I'll kill this bastard where he stands. From there he went and powered up a huge Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Cell, as Cell couldn't hold it off and it's done. Now, I'm going to use the final universe seed and plant it inside my body. Now, it is over. I have managed to collect the entire universe seed from this multiverse. <laughs> 
I am so strong. He then went and decked everyone from there as they all fell to the ground except for Broly. Hart went in to attack but before he can, he saw some other fighters has arrived to Universe 11 as he saw Hits, Kafala, Bergamo and the other strongest warrior from this multiverse has all arrived to reunite with the rest of the universe so that they can fight Hart and put an end to him. Hart laughed as he said, <laughs> Bring it on, I'll destroy all of you where you stand. It's futile, might as well just lay down and pretend to die. 